Okay. Let me know when you get it. Yeah, I, I won that match. Okay. You won it? Yep. All right. Let me load up the chat stream here, see if I can find this. We are here for day two, round six of the USA UBC tournament. Television just turned off, that's not good. There it goes, back on again. We have Neil Kazaros and Albert Stegg. I played Albert Stegg in round one of New York. Um, he actually played fantastic. He played, I think, like a two and a half in our match. So this should be a really good one. And we all know who Neil Kazaros is. If you've ever opened up Extreme Gammon and looked at like the Neil Kazaros and uh, what's the other guy's name? Rockwell match equity table. You know, when you have things named after yourself in backgammon, I think you've done well, you know? Yeah. I think, I think they're going to just call double sixes from the roof uh, the Noel. Yeah, that's what I'm known for. Just fanning on a one-point board. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Do you play where you get a point every time? No, I did that with... Uh, I did that with... Um, oh, my goodness. Our buddy from New York. Um, God, I'm just... I just I literally just woke up. Give me a sec here. Victor? Yeah, yeah, Victor. Um, he claimed to be the unluckiest player right. in the world, right? Exactly. And so... Uh, but you got rich off of it now. No, no, no. We had a we we had a bet, right? And the bet was every time you fan on a one point board, I have to pay you a point. Every time he enters on a five point board, he pays me a point. Okay. Right. About six games in, I had to jump off the bet. I go, you win, you win. You're the unluckiest player I've ever seen. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that I'm like you? You were coming in. Or you, no, we were just playing in a chouette. And we just had no, this you were coming bet. in on the five on the five point no, board. Just, just his role. If he enters, I get paid. If he doesn't enter and he fans, he gets paid. And he just kept on fanning on like one point boards like it was nothing. And I'm just like, wow, okay, okay, you you win, but I mean, you win this bet, but you you actually just lose in general. I think his thing is he says two point boards. He can't come in on a two point board. Yeah, any board, any board. He plays guys like Alabama on 14th Street, and they're like breaking even, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I love Alabama, but his PR isn't as good as Victor's, that's for sure. Oh, man. You always want to hit on the four point at the beginning of the game, right? Yeah, I'd say generally, unless there's the opportunity to hit outside instead. But yeah, I, I, I think so. Five and the four, generally. Hitting 
course. You gotta fight for those points. It's true. You don't want to play <clears throat> passive, right? I mean, I heard Ryan yesterday the entire day saying, don't, nobody wants to be a passive feeder. And I'm like, okay, okay. It's wrong until it's right. Yeah. <laughs> Making sure you got the chat on that. Yes, I, We're I loaded good. it up, no problem. Who's 2-1? Uh, Funny enough. Orange. If this proves the point that you're still hitting, right? Uh, I think so. With four men back, why not? The Do extra, another one. The extra fifth one doesn't matter so much once you have four back. Can carry out the attack with six men. And just 24-23, put a little pressure on the 8-point. Or one, okay, he makes it and hits, I'm sure. Yep, you know, the successful attack with six checkers in the zone. <laughs> He's got him, right where he wants him. And as we know, Victor would fan on this board, uh, but no. All right, I would hit two. I'd make the 3-point. Yes, I think making the 3-point is clear. But the other blot on the 8-point will still be there, likely, next roll, of course, unless they roll doubles. Yes. Good play. And... I don't know. After this sequence, he might just have a cube, depending on what he rolls. 4-6, okay. Might I, be too good. Maybe. I'm certainly not taking. I would, I would roll. Certainly not taking. Okay, it's close to almost too good. Okay. No, no, the missing the cube is oh. a 150. Yeah. Oh, 995 on yeah, the yeah. take. So yeah. it's actually so a it's, take. Yeah. Really? I, I, I don't, uh, I don't understand that. That's... I would pass. <laughs> I, I would definitely pass. i actually surprised. Even knowing it's a take, I would still pass. Yeah. I pay when I lose, so, <laughs> you know, I have to, <laughs> I have to put that into uh, consideration. <clears throat> you see somebody take things like this and you go, do you intend to pay me? Right. What's happening here? <laughs> I, that, that, there's no way we take that. Right? Yeah. This is just making the four point and the 11 point. We normally forego hitting on the seven point with double twos in the opening. I agree. I think there's only one second roll sequence where it's okay to like hit somebody instead of making a four with, point with the double two yeah against the six four split yeah six four split you hit two. outside yeah it's the only one the choice is really between stepping up to the 22 or coming down to the 11 right yeah in here i think you should just split and then the ace is so, dropping it into the hole maybe I could, I well, I like splitting here because my opponent already has an anchor. Oh, I don't know about this one though. I don't know why we would give that, but my opponent already has the 18 point anchor, so the only way to win the game is to anchor back as well. So that's why you want to come up to the 20 point. My my mantra, Justin, is how do you beat an anchor? You make an anchor. This is true. Here maybe coming out to the 18 and the lifting seems like a good option. This is like the first thing I see. You know, I assume that Orange wants to make these inner board points. And so by coming out to the 18, it kind of makes it a bit more difficult for them to do so. And then clean up the block. You know, then if they make the five or the four or something, or they might be forced to hit you instead of make points, in which case you have the better board and you might hit them back from the roof. And again, you want to make the 18 point to counter the, uh, the opponent's anchor. They roll 5-1. Now they can't just make the 5-point like they would have if you were just stayed back on the 23, right? I, so I think you hit twice. Yeah, I mean, this is the question. So the ace is pretty clear. Yeah. I know one person that would never hit on the 1-point. My friend Abe, he would never. Even if he knew it was right. Don't do it. He just can't do it. And it's, it's usually right to cover it, unless you're me and you don't do it yesterday. Did you not do it yesterday at some point? <laughs> I remember I had the chance to do 
to it. Oh, uh, yes, yes, made with the, the uh, 6 2 or something, yeah, right? Yeah, made the bar point, which was right. It so. was right. I think it might be the first case I've ever seen it being right, actually. The entire time I've been playing backgammon, I think it's the first time I've ever seen it actually be correct. If he finds this, this is pretty good. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't move off the six. But. I think the good thing about this is it, it has all the points slotted, right? So then you can just yeah. kind of make the four prime pretty easily. I wouldn't have seen it. Yeah, Albert's been playing really, really well lately. Like, exceptionally well. He saw it, but he didn't do it. But yeah. uh, I, I, I would have probably did his play. The hard That's part, hard to see. Yeah, I mean, the fact that you see it means there's a chance you can make it. If you never see it, then it's impossible to make it. So It's always wrong not to see it. <laughs> yeah, the blunder is in not seeing it. Mm -mm. Okay, I can't do this, though. Just, just, probably just, just coming into block. Yeah. Oh, I don't like this one either because you don't have the five points slotted, and I'd prefer to just have it covered and made. And he's behind in the, or he's the race is close. So it was, it was close. That's fourteen pips. I I'd probably just make the nine point, but I can see that it's wrong a little bit. I'd probably do the same as well. Just looks prettier to me. I know backgammon isn't a beauty contest, but you know. I, I would do this play too. It's hard not to do this play. Looks good. Looks good. And it is not like you're so up in the race that you can just, you know, bring it home from the 10 point. I think the problem is you just don't have spares to play with next roll, really, right? And by doing the other play, you actually have quite a few spares to play with, which makes your position a bit more flexible. Because you do this and you roll some rolls, and now you're going to just have to break those points pretty quickly. And you might not roll a good roll to do so. Yep. 6-2 plays pretty ugly. Six three. I mean, I'd probably just play two down. That would be wrong. He's got a lot of value in that two two away. All right, we're clearing the ten, right? That's my first instinct. Just mm. make the board. Okay, I'm wrong. Not by much, but my first instinct was 10, 9, 10, 6. Good play. How about... I was going to suggest breaking the midpoint, but... Because he's got two, two blunts. blunts. Yeah, this, this roll is funny. I guess you're just breaking the... Seven point? I would think about it, yeah. Gets the cover breaking on the seven, but... You know, you don't have any spares to play with, I guess. But here, Ooh. he just gets to come All out. Alright, now. now he gets to... Out and down, right? So, oh, wait, what's the race? He's, he's up, up two. Like two pips after the play. This was my first instinct too. So the the trick is to try to read the timing over the board, right? So, like, five checkers outside for orange to play with. You yeah. only have two outside to play with until that becomes a problem on the uh, seventeen point. That's why going all the way is the right. Mm. He gets to hold the position a bit longer, and so here he gets to make the five and the four and just kind of hold on. Well, he's up six after the roll, so it might be right yeah, to come closer. Yeah, but he's winning the timing battle, I think. So, I mean, 14-12-2 is not that wrong. You're still keeping pressure on that point four away. It's also just very efficient to play in from there and just make the board. Checkers on those points will be good in the race as well. Good play, Neil. Now he gets to slot the 5-1. Five, five. Five, I would just do this, then go to the 8. 6-1, I meant, see? 6-1, because you want the timing. Ah, uh, you want to save the 6 on the outside, yeah? That's tough. Here. 
as you as as you said before, we're losing that battle if we're blue, right? That's true. Yeah, and that definitely. That is true. Which is why Who'd I was right to go right all now? the way, you know. Who would I rather be? Oh, now definitely blue. <laughs> be blue. <laughs> you can't believe it. I can't believe it either, Neil. What are you gonna do? You know. Just five to four. Just cross your fingers. Okay, so. I don't think I would double because, you know, if you hit, the guy could just roll a five. Or two, I would just. Wow, look at this. He just wants to break the six and keep the guy on the outside. I don't think I could do it. No, I, I, would, I wouldn't do it either. I don't know if I could. I would probably play eight, two. Just doesn't want to leave the shot. Now he has the right, full board. Now, now he's in trouble. Now I'd rather be orange, right? Yeah, definitely. Ooh, 2-1. Good roll. Fantastic roll. You don't want to be the first person to roll a 6 here, that's for sure. Double 1s. Mm, what's the race? It's a fantastic shot. Doesn't have to leave Move a up. shot. Move up. Yeah. Crossovers. The thing is, a lot of a lot of blue sixes play bad anyway when you do this. The only thing they actually gain on extra is 6-5, right? It, the six, race four, is... 6 4 6 6-2, 6-3 six, all still leave shots. And the race is close, but blue has a worse. I mean, blue has the extra wastage, right? So I, I don't think you want to equalize the wastage. Just stay, just move forward. The and, problem with this is you could still also like roll the six first. You know, blue could roll something small in play, and then you could just leave a shot again. Anything not going fourteen, twelve, two is a big blunder. I just dislike breaking my board in general. Well, Phil find it. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make any other play. There we go. Neil doesn't like breaking his board either. And you still get shots on most sixes. Five two, okay. I'm not leaving a shot. His board never leave a shot against a closed board. <laughs> I mean, not never, but I mean, certainly not now. I, I mean, mean, there's sometimes. I think you... never. <laughs> no, not ever. I mean, there's there was a play yesterday yeah, I mean, where it was right to no hit the guy when his board was closed, you know, in his in his own home board and leave the block due to the race. But you know, sometimes you will leave a shot just due to racing efficiency. But I think it's just like the race is also too close here to want to even give up any ground. It's just bad. I like to go with never, and then if I make a mistake, it's very rare. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I hate leaving shots. Yeah. I'm not a fan. My opponents tend to tend to hit me when I leave them. Huh? Makes me feel some sort of way about it. But the thing is, if you if you just do this, I mean, you could also get a shot when orange rolls. That's right. Yeah. And still with a four-point board, no one's ever fan. Because orange is going to, like, probably just play their fives in, because you know, they'll only have a four-point board. So they, they might just leave you a shot. But this this is just too costly. This is hard. I, I, I well, minimize the shots. Yeah, but, but I mean, you're you not don't want to minimize in... shots either because the, you're you behind. don't get shots on 6-3 or 6-4. Like some of these numbers that would end up being bad if you just stayed there, now just clear. You're only up two pips after the roll, which is actually being down in this sort of position, right? Because well, you got wastage and the other guy's on roll. Your position's busted. And, and, and he can hit you. <laughs> yeah. Which is not good. All right, he's making this play. Good find, Alden. No, no double. No, Neil's down, and he could leave a wow. shot. It says double. No, I wouldn't. Okay, it's super close. I would, I would not double this. But that's why Neil Kazaros has things named after him. You know, he sees these things. Just by thinking about it is pretty good. Double Ooh. fours. Terrible. Not as bad as six one though. Maybe. The good roll. I wouldn't say good. I would say I would not great. I would reroll. Six one. I would stay there. I wouldn't move any closer. I would go 4 3. But. Just. Uh, no, no double again, right? Because of the hits. Yeah, I guess so. 
Hits and what's the race? I mean, it was you're, uh, yeah, you're up. Okay, I, I I take it back. Yeah, you're up seven. I, I would double. Cube before. I would double this. And now he has a shot. Yeah. But the shots don't necessarily. I, I didn't win. count it. After you after you look at the race, it's clear. Five one, easy well, take because he can uh, cross over. Yeah, going to the six is better. Fours and threes. What's the difference on the shots? Uh, well, I think you gain on two one, for sure. You've, yes. Big. Or you lose on that one. Yeah, apparently. It's right. quite possible. This He's going to get the redouble. cube back. Redouble now. Depends what he rolls. No good. Six uh, I, I think this might be a redouble since he's got the open five point. Yeah, I agree because he could miss. Your board is really fast. Yep, it is a redouble. Easy take, though, I think. Um... Yeah, because uh, Neil is guy's one man off, so if he doesn't roll a five, he's off in seven rolls, I guess. I think I think blue has a as a checker off as well, no? Blue has two off. Uh, one off. Just one off. One off. Yeah. So it's seven rolls to seven rolls, but it's a very long race. But there's a hole on the other side, so. Yeah, uh, yeah. I could see him taking another roll, just because it's seven or seven. But with the gap on the five, I mean, if Neil rolls a five, he's lost his market probably, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I could see him taking another roll just because, you know, seven or seven, even though I, I think Neil's, I would have doubled it. Neil's happy, though, that he, he didn't get the cube. Yeah. And now he's and now he's happy, unhappy. unhappy that he didn't get the cube. <laughs> and Albert's quite pleased that he didn't give it. Okay, he rolls double twos back. One, two, right, three, four, and a half. One, two, three, four, five rolls. I'd still say advantage orange, even though he's not advantage roll. orange. Yep. I would say advantage blue. Well, he rolled a six, so yeah, he's only thirty percent to win. Now, blue's seventy-one percent. Yeah, see, yeah. that's why I said advantage blue. Oh, no, no, yeah. I did say that, didn't I? Yeah, I, I said it. You said advantage orange. Oh, I, I, I meant blue. Okay, yeah. I said it backwards then. All right. I, 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 I would. I think this is. Close to it. Why not double it? Make make Neil think about it. One, two, three and a half. All right. Okay, now so one, two, three and a half. There, you got the same position. Clear yeah. double. double. This. Clear. This is clear. Now he's not gonna miss it. Definitely not gonna miss this. Now Neil might drop. I could definitely see me <laughs> dropping this. All right, what's your prediction? He's going to take a drop. I think he's going to drop. I think he's going to drop this. Well, he knows probably exactly what it's worth. Is he adjusting the amount? I I uh, my, I think he's gonna drop. Dude, ten dollars I take. All right, Jonah, you're on for ten dollars. <laughs> I I want to bet with somebody. Ten dollars on the take. What do you think? Do you think he takes? I think he drops. I, okay, think? I'll go ten bucks. He passes just because I want action, not that All I right. think he'll actually pass. Right, we're both. I I don't have my wallet plus, with me. You plus plus. Yeah. It's plus plus. Oh, you got a shirt made. Are you? All right, Jonah. Here we go. All right. Just for fun. He's gonna think long and then grab. Uh, he might. He might pass. Hey Joe, he might yeah. pass. I don't know this guy. Yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, it's super close. I, I think he's gonna pass. I agree with you. I didn't pass. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I was wondering what took him so long. You didn't take. You didn't take Dennis didn't take Joe. I don't bet. care what side I have. I just want to bet. Is that bad? <laughs> No, it's good. <laughs> you know, it's super I, I, close. I, 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 yeah, like, <laughs> I don't know that the man is tired. The style is strong. Me knowing Neil, he's probably going to take That's why I bet on All right. Four rolls. Three and a half. I just had a pin. 
Yeah, it's a double I, tank. I've been in the stream room 10 seconds, and I've got a bet on something already. I know. I missed you yesterday. We I, I, I don't have my, I have to pay you later if I lose. I got I don't have my wallet. Yeah, he's, he's doing Neil's numbers, uh, Mark says in the chat. <laughs> what, what does the chat think? Anyone on the chat want to? Mark wants to bet that he'll take. I think the longer he thinks, the closer we're going to get to a pass. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. All right, so I'm looking good. I think, I think it's the opposite. You want to read? <laughs> he's trying to find the reasons to pass, but he knows it's a take. Hey, Joe, it's like a, a you might pay one point one five. Yeah, I know. You want to? Yeah, eleven dollars to ten right here. Yeah. Oh, Come on, Neil, who's paying for breakfast? Let's go. I mean, what? Do, I is, is, is anyone really good him? at the numbers know what we're thinking here? I mean, it's three and a half to three and a half rolls, right? We know four rolls is a take, and we know three rolls is a drop. And then you got to think about the score. I mean, Neil is down one nothing, which may may push it toward Jonah here. At least on the first roll, he doesn't. No, I made it back. Yeah, two. you know what? Albert Albert waiting this long as uh, to to no, redouble has caused no, Neil pass. all the stress. You think too much. I think he's looking for a reason to pass, but he can't find it. <laughs> Come on, Neil. Come on, Neil. Pass this. <laughs> it's a pass. Maybe he, if he can hear us. It's a <laughs> pass. <laughs> I'm trying to sway the guy. This is why I can't bet on matches when I'm doing commentary. You know, I will. Uh, I'll. I'll sound. I couldn't hear anything. Yeah, I think Mark's right. I think if it wasn't a PR competition, he would have passed probably. And just can get on to Ms. the next game. Mrs. Bubbles thinks it would be gutsy. Hey, Justin, my contention is even if he saw the point, go on six, then he still might pass. No. You don't? You no, not, so? not, not in this competition. Mark Olson says not easy me. drop in the main event for Neil, but in UBC. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's, yes. Let's go. Pay up. You guys are going to say let's go. <laughs> let's go. 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 let us Thank you for breakfast. We need more people in the uh, in the in the gallows here, hanging out with us. That's very good, brother. All right. Hey, Isn't it? I mean, it was nine eighty four. I've never been so happy. Someone's passed a coupon before. This is for for ten bucks. You know. <laughs> that, was, that was good. All right. I was over at the restaurant across the street getting breakfast at like nine a.m. Someone was having a beer. That's how you know we're in Texas. Nah. <laughs> 9 a.m. Beer o'clock. Let's right. go. I think Neil has a double just about uh, unless it, unless uh Albert rolls four five or four three. Uh, he's got a double. Six five Cube. here and just slot the four. Cube. And double. Cube. Let's go. Now he's gonna cube this. Has to. He will. Any time I roll double six at the beginning of the game, I start thinking, I, wh oh, "What?" Oh. I was a, that was surprising that he did double that. I would have I would have bet. Oh, and he did a, a double hit on the ace as well, which I thought was a little funny. But... Yeah, I would have played thirteen eight six five. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. I mean, that was surprising. Was, was Down three nothing. Much. Yeah. No, it, it definitely changed your cube action. I mean, double six is a super strong, uh, super strong opening roll puts you. At a, a big advantage. I know Albert Steg actually wrote an article for the USBGF magazine one time about how to play double sixes. Uh, sorry, not how to play, how to play your next roll after your opponent rolls double sixes, just so you don't start bleeding equity in a position where you've already. Um, you got to immediately split up to the edge of it and try to make the anchor. And like it's. No, we had a conversation about it because I actually, I actually wrote a paper just for myself on how to play these because one day somebody rolled double sixes against me and I go, well, I'm already losing. I don't know what my game plan is for like all of my next rolls after these sequences. So one day I decided to look at like every next sequence after someone's second roll when they roll double sixes. And what was the theme that you found? Yeah, I mean, I found ways to like how you should be splitting with what numbers, what numbers should be slotting if you don't already have the five point made. Um, just a lot of like game plan ideas. So like you don't start bleeding equity in a position where you're already down a ton. I, I, I thought that was clearly a double. Yeah, at the score for sure. I mean, Even zero zero, I would have doubled. Now, 
So Neil is now doubling from the roof, and he's which given is fine, obviously, a very tough decision to Albert. Albert probably would have had a take before, though he wouldn't have liked it. This is tough, and it's switching on the higher settings from past. Oh, I, I, it's close, so yeah. he, he's not going to go too wrong either way here. It's basically even money take pass. But at the score, he doesn't want to get into these type of situations. So be double hit. And so three to one. <clears throat> but but surprising from Neil to, to miss that double for sure. Here it comes. I'll go and get my board on the ninth floor. Let's see if I have one down here. I have So let's at least see if you want to play on it. It's four good like this out. Oh, there's a question. Does Kaz know Albert's game? I'm sure Kaz knows that Albert's a very good player. I'm sure of that. I believe it. And everybody knows each other here. We all kind of follow each other around the the, mm -hmm. uh, the tour circuit, the circuit, you know. So, so someone wrote that's why Neil did not cube, and uh, I'm unsure why he did not cube before. I mean, he got a pass. He he wants volatile situations. You you want the cube. Flying early down three nothing. Yeah, I don't think there's many people on earth that know these score situations better than Neil Kazaros. But maybe you know sometimes you wake up and on some days you feel a little more loose and some days you feel yes. a little tighter, you know, and then all of a sudden your circuits are off by two or three percent in one direction or another. That's right. same position. You might play differently one month apart. So like when I play in these shoeettes, sometimes, you know, I take pictures of a few positions depending on how things go in the beginning and like I'll look them up on my phone really quickly as I pretend to go to the bathroom and then like readjust kind of like my circuitry for the day based on what I'm seeing. Oh, was I playing a bit too tight here? Did I miss a cube? Was the cube right on time? And just try to like constantly readjust how I'm evaluating positions to make sure that if I am making a mistake, I can recalibrate so I don't continue to make them over time. You know, it's like a girl on a date, you know, I'm going to the bathroom to fix my makeup, you know, mm -hmm. it's like I'm going to the bathroom to check this position from the chouette that we just were playing. Got to study not, it. In not, 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 not in a tournament, though. I think that's like against the rules. But like, um, I mean, like in a chouette, you know, you take a picture of a position after the game is over and go, ah, how did this look? Oftentimes in our chouettes, we bet these positions as well after or before. But yeah, this is interesting. I, 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 I thought about making the four point, but I probably wouldn't. I probably wouldn't, even though I see it's wrong. I would probably play 13, 7, 10, 8, just not leaving the block. But, but good for Albert if he makes this play. Yeah, I think Albert will. He's been playing really, really strong lately. <clears throat> I could see myself playing 13, 7, 10, 8, just to be honest. I know it leaves uh, the double shot there, but the two is just really funny, and it feels like you're just stacking this up. And if you look at Orange's structure on the other side, they want to build as well. They want to make their five point. They want to make their four point so with their structure. The and so leaving the, the shot makes it more difficult for them to do what they're trying to do on the other side as well. I see that point. Yeah. Let's see if Albert does that. It's, this is definitely hard to see. He's this gonna is like definitely not an easy play. He's going to like the look of the resulting structure better, and he's going to do it. And it's not that wrong to play 13, 7, 10, 8. Not that wrong. Good play, Albert. Well done. That. After I saw how he played against me in the first round of uh, New York, I, I just didn't have any doubt that he was going to find it. And that's a really strong roll. And now he wishes he did the other play. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, the two it enters. Hits. The ace hits, of course. This is like your way to... All right, hold on. Does Neil have a double here? I think he might. I I, I would double this. Ooh, I think you're right. Yes, yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. Come on. The trick Come is on, to, Neil. to think about it. Very good. He's got three guys back, better structure. You For know, you sure. Have a bunch of down. Numbers Did they hit. not switch the score? Isn't it three one? Neil, yes. They Neil, didn't switch the score. Neil you want me to tell them? Point. I can go tell them. You, I, I'll do. You stay. You stay. You're the star. Wait, is it three zero or three one? Did Neil score a point? Yeah. Yeah, because he passed last game. Yeah. <laughs> Three one, 
Thank you. Yeah. I think this is a great play because it's not like Blue really wants to uh, is this hit, a him double? With, hit him with a six. Honestly, is this his double? Uh, for Albert, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, for Orange. Oh, he's not on roll. Okay, sorry. I just and got risk. Back. Okay. And here, he's just going to play six to five, of course. I might consider doubling this if uh, I'm Orange. I don't think you want to split. It activates like too many gammons. This double anchor is how you're going to be able to take this cube, I think. And this is good, you know, you have a double anchor. You're not so worried about getting hit anymore. Would you double this if, if you're orange? I, I think I would. Yeah, 5-1 game is pretty bad. I would give this double. Down 3-1. Just... 3-5 should just run out, probably, right? Or at least come out with the 5 and then think about the 3. Yeah, 11-8. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> if he has to hit with a six off the midpoint, that's not that bad for you because he needs that midpoint with four men back. Mm -hmm. Obviously, so, hitting with the ace would be good for Albert, but the six, he's not super happy to hit with the six. So we should just come out with the five and just pick up the three. Just play with a single block. Makes you think it harder he's... for the game to turn around. Yeah. It's just kind of a simple game. I mean, he's just trying to get out... And not leave shots and blots everywhere. And then double. He gets hit with 6 2. See, two he down. doesn't even, he, he's not even automatically doing it because he doesn't even know if it's right to leave the midpoint. I think it is 13 7, 13 11. I just don't know what else you would do to try to stay in the game. Yeah, two down. No, the split was not correct. We should have just slotted six to five. I mean, in these double anchor games, you're able to just take many more chances in these spots. It doesn't really cost you much. Three and then the five. We don't want to leave extra shots. I would think about playing 13-8. I, I, it would be hard for me to put a man from the eight to the three point. I think if you're just trying to get one last guy out, leaving lots other places makes it much harder to focus on extracting the checker when they have... Other he numbers that could hit. also hit you. That would have been a really bad error because it would have escaped the checker. So what do we do? I would have been. I would have paid for that. Yeah, we can just make the eight. Yes, for sure. Hit six two hits on the outside. <laughs> Three six fans, and he's up fifty pips. He's on the Definitely roof. double. You have to queue. Wow. Maybe he Man. thinks he's too good. I think that's the only thing he could be thinking is that he's too good. Wow. I think that's what he's thinking. I, I guess so. Yeah. Neil's playing great with the checkers, but we think he's missed a couple cubes here. They were small, though. I think he's still playing under a two. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Whoops. Whoopsie. Eight one. Ten three is right. Okay. Yeah. Because any other play leaves a shot, right? Well, eight one doesn't. Not a direct shot. They all leave from the outside. Jonah came in the room. We had a bet within uh, one minute of him entering the room. So feel free <laughs> to uh, get action if you want it with us. Jonah, Jonah yeah, paid us each 10. You want to bet. Yeah, yeah. Jonah he paid us each 10. It was a really close decision. So it was 984. Feel free to try to pick us off, you know, and it's fun. It was a 984 take. Should I, uh, should I move up to the peanut gallery? Uh... Yeah, feel free. Sure. Chris. We, had, we had a 984 take, Chris, that Justin and I bet that Neil would drop. Jonah thought he would take. Oh, you were betting on what Neil yeah. would do? Now. Yeah. No, oh, the double hit is the double hit is clear. Yeah, we were betting on what Neil would do. The double hit is it was, clear, it was actually. We want to deny the second anchor, and his uh, gammons go through the roof if we're able to get away with this. Okay, he wasn't able to get away with it, but... 
We got a final in the other. Looks like now Blue's Ray, doing fine. Ray Fogerlin beat Albert is, Pitt. Albert is up to 40% winning chances here. He was yeah. on the ropes. Neil could have doubled him out by yeah. easily a couple of rolls ago. Four yeah. men on the three points. Terrible. He was doing, he's doing fine now. Five deuce game is an upgrade over the five one he had a while ago. For sure. Yeah, and his timing's going to be fine because Neil, oh, has, look, Neil has a bunch of checkers. Wow. There These cubes have um, instant board. These cubes have added up. I mean, Neil's PR went from playing a two to be playing, what, like a four and a half now? I would play eight seven. I think this is one of the biggest kind of uh, <laughs> PR killers. It's just consecutive missed cubes and what positions the, uh, where you... What are thinking about here? It's not easier to escape for the 23 than the 24, so... I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised down 3-1 Neil hasn't sent a cube in this game yet. That just locked in Albert's timing. A better roll for Neil would have been if he could have made the bar point safely from the center with the loose checker and then kind of given uh, Albert a couple numbers to break, but... If Albert can roll three or five of the next couple rolls. His, his to timing. get off the 23, yeah, he's doing his, his just time, fine. His timing is... Especially with the he's ace won, point. He's made. won the timing, but... That's a good shot, 2-4. Being able to clear the 10 now is yeah. fantastic. What's he got, 11s? If he wants them. <laughs> four, and okay, here's the one. Looking to get the checker off the 23 pretty quickly. He needs threes and fives to do that. I was... It's not even thinking about the cube. So the five comes in and the two moves this way. All right, can Neil double now? This five deuce game? I don't think I would. This is a great shot, being able to come off of there with the three. Well, certainly does not have a double now. He's thinking about it. It's close. It's not that bad. It is a cube. Wow. Oh, it is Look a cube. at that. Come on. Give me some props. Props. We gave you action. You didn't say <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you had the fish on the hook. Yeah, yeah, no. you, you didn't hold on. Hold on. You, you, you didn't reel him in. You didn't reel him in. Come you didn't reel him in before he pushed the button. It's a shot. Oh, wow, look at this. He's supposed to just go to the seven. The six to three play is a uh, 10% error. Coax him off the deuce, maybe. The five one hits him. You'd rather, see, you'd rather be hit with a five off the deuce than him using that spare. You're also costing yourself five. Two six. Ooh. Great. Fantastic number. Fogerlin would be proud. Well, uh, well, he decides six to one roll. Hits and makes the seven. Oh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Might have been his best. Three six fans, and now does no. Al Albert? No, no. not not Certainly even not no. no, no, no. Albert, Al it's a it's a pass. It's a three. Oh my gosh, three twenty four pass. Oh my gosh, and we're now all three wrong. one. We're all wrong. Just have to come off the twenty three. Not all of us. This gentleman behind wow. us is right. And I usually like to double. I wouldn't. <laughs> I mean, he's at a four-way score, and he must now, be some gammon. I think sure. now I could see him double this, because he's not at the edge. He's going to have outfield control. It's funny. You like that he's in more than being on the roof. Yes. Well, <laughs> I mean, now he's got nothing. Be yeah. Because he's closer to rolling a bad number and exposing another checker. Yeah. And, which no, could, and no closer to getting it. Which could happen just from the roof, which is he what needs, happened, right? He needs a number and a six from the roof. Which is he's why the other one was such a big cue, because if the guy enters and enters poorly, it's a market loss as well, right? Yeah. Well, we all missed that one. Right, but Neil, but 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 Albert missed it too because yeah. he, he doubled a better one. Now, this was this was even stronger than the previous one. Too, almost, it was almost too good. Right. All right. Well, we learned. We all learned something today. It's like South Park. <clears throat> well, we saw the we saw the lead and went no, conservative no. and didn't notice. It. Forgot that he was four. <laughs> I didn't know. What? I haven't seen South Park since high school. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we all learned something today. <laughs> I'm actually re-watching all the South Park with my wife right now. Really? That's what we're doing. Yeah, we're on season four. Just going, th we're, we're, we're motoring through them. I don't think I could get, could get mine to agree to that. <laughs> we're, we're, it's, it's funny. You know, guys, we, I, I learned something today.
think you just have to split still. I know it feels funny, but like, what else are you going to do? If you just enter on the 24, the guy's just going to make the five point. And you're going to be just Both in trouble up. anyway. Both up so that he can't really. Yeah, it puts pressure on the eight point yeah. strip. So if he makes a pointing number with the eight point. Yes. Yeah. Good, good play. Keep it. Pick up the dice. So that's the only play that reduces Neil to three fully active builders. Pick up the dice, Albert. So, so we all like this because coming 24-23 deactivates the 8-point. No, it doesn't deactivate it. He'll still use it to make the 4-point, but it gives him some... Direct uh, hits back. It, uh, it would allow Albert to anchor on the, on the 23. And just 6 is hit. And six because is if, he, if he makes the, the, these points, you're like in big trouble anyway. Now, I, now does Neil, Neil have a Neil, double? Neil's going to be cute next roll. So I mean, very... now he has this to is not even. This one. is not that great. Oh, he has to good. make the one, though. It's, I would double this if I'm... I mean... Uh, no, no. I no, he could, he's I got, could he's see got, doubling this. He's got... He's got, let's say, potential against this checker. I, there's another checker, I suppose. I could this see giving this. It's a double, yeah, see? Oh, yeah. The score. the score is huge. No position score. Right. It's tough. I, I understand. I, I agree. Well, it's he, tough he, when he you're on the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tough. I give you credit He, he, you know what though? If we if I had to bet on it, I would have bet he wouldn't because this whole game he's been a little bit shy with the king. He has been. So, uh, this whole match, I should say. Double. All right. Now it's too good. The funny thing is I would probably have done the double slotting play instead of breaking the mid because I, I just hate breaking the mid. I don't see Albert taking this, even though it's a take. Mm -mm. No way. I wish I could get a bet with you, but I think I'm on the same side. Yeah. Chris, this is kind of the same kind of thing we had before. I think he's going to drop this, even though it's a take. <laughs> we couldn't get the bet in. I feel I'm good at the psychology today. And okay. Yeah, you're up four one, you know. See, and Neil Neil has seven errors on the cube, and most of them have been missed doubles. Well, maybe Albert is thinking that exact same thing and saying Neil's doubling me late, and I'm not sure whether this is a drop or a tank, but I'm just confident he's doubled me late in some other ones, so I'm gonna break. I'm gonna break close calls in favor of passing here. That that's true. You're you're sitting there thinking, well, I think my opponent had a double and 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 it was a take, and now he's improved, and it's. And again, Neil is Neil, so I mean, I don't want to criticize of course. Too, too much, but I mean, he clearly has he's had a couple that were obviously. Uh, late in this in this particular match, this hasn't been his best. And if Albert's picking that up, you know he can adjust and say, okay, the guy I'm playing is doubling me late in this match, and I'm not sore, so I'll. Yeah, but it's also a PR competition, so it's hard to to do that when you normally would in a regular match, you know. Well, again, again, I'm saying I can break close calls. If he thinks it's yeah. a close call, he's not going to make a big error. Anyway. Right, he he might think it, he's now, to you know, it's turned from a take to a pass because he missed the first one. And I'm, yeah, no, obviously and, Neil's and, one and, of the and, best and in the to, world. To to be in Albert's position there and be highly confident of your choice, I mean, you have to be very, very good. I mean, that's like a Mochi level. This is a good one. <laughs> you know, maybe Mochi can be sure in that position. But the average very strong player is not going to be 100% sure in that position. Oh, fantastic. Gets to hit. And just come down. Don't think you can get away with not right. hitting. No. And He's thinking about the five. Yeah, you got a three point board. You're, 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 you're not going to play 13 4 here. And that's the only play that is quote unquote safer than yeah. hitting. So, I mean, 
You can just win. Hits. And you can lose. Hits. But you, you do this, and you could just enter an anchor still. And now we have a wide open position. Robert has a, has a uh, board edge. 3-6 makes the outside anchor That's again. That's a really good shake, actually. That's really good. For me, well, that was... Well, he was, well, he was well diverse. The fives made the outside point, the fours hit on the nine point. Some of his sixes were pretty yeah. bad. This was four six made the point, like one six yeah. and two six. Were this is bad. a good he, shake. He was well diverse. So it was good, but he had a lot of good ones. Yeah. Ooh, double ones. Kind of a funny number. Double ones for... I, I think anchoring's key. Yeah, we can't have him pointing on us, but the last one is annoying. And I guess the only thing that doesn't really ruin your position entirely is going to be this other one just splitting off, but it's ugly. You obviously... You gave it away. Yeah, I, I would... I would have found it. I think I would have found this one pretty quickly. I'm, I'm anchoring and splitting the two outside guys. and He's got a whole bunch of numbers that don't hit two checkers and the single hits. Yeah, Break yeah, the, the midpoint. The, 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 single, the single hits leave pretty exposed. This one has some blunder potential. It's it's Up 4-2, I think you need the anchor. You know, just giving threes and fours and sixes is uh is tough to do. But if you look at any other play that doesn't do that, you're giving him ones, two, three, <laughs> and fours as well to just point on you, which should be worse. He's not looking at the anchor because he doesn't want to play the last ace, so yeah. he's not even looking at it. Ooh, I know. That was yeah. bad. Okay. Yeah, we, we all thought anchor immediately. And, and then he did he have a double? It was close. And you should just make... It was close to a double. Well. He'll just... He rolled right through it without thinking. if he doesn't roll a four, this game is... Probably over. One, two, maybe not. All right. This game's still over. Double, no, right? not necessarily. I would double this. Enter, for sure. I mean, doubling for sure, but entering okay. is a big deal. All right. I, I could entering see him passing this, honestly. I could yeah. I, all, right, all right, so it's time to take. Okay. Entering is a big deal. I, I that think, checker's uh, still on the 23 point behind the four prime. I mean, you're going to have to hit loose if you don't exactly, roll it, dude. This is exactly what the last one yeah, was. Yeah, I, I think he's going to pass. Taking a position where you lose a massive number of gamins. <laughs> he's going to pass. Of, there's a lot of bad numbers for Orange, though. He's going to pass. There's a lot of bad numbers for Orange. I think that extra blot out there, he's going to pass. That's if he didn't good. have it, yep. I don't know if I could have passed this one. But I think about things from a money perspective most of the time, and I just like, this is, this is just too much game left in this one. And then my opponent rolls like 2-1, and then I just die and get gammon, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit this game and quit uh, being an attorney and go be a psychologist. I think that's my new calling. I don't know if that's like, it's like predictive behavior, you know? I don't know if you're gonna it's my cure, new I don't know if you're gonna cure Neil of anything today, yeah. but uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, and Albert the last two yeah. as well. I mean, they, definitely well within the realm of possibility of, pa I mean, no shame in passing those cubes. They were close. The, the first one I, the first one I would have passed. This one though, I, I no can just shame. see all the bad numbers, you know? A lot of them are just loose hits. I mean, unless he rolls double ones or two one or something, you know, you're you're doing okay. He's got one checker back on the twenty three behind mm. structure. He can only exit with sixes. Um, if he doesn't hit you inside, right, you got uh, and even if twenty he, numbers anchor. I mean, if he doesn't point on you inside, you could always just roll a four back. But right. eleven fours and you have eleven ones to have at least an ace point I game. I think the only reason why obviously he passed is just score. score. Yeah, for sure. For money, I don't let that one hit the table. That's, I mean, it's a scary double. Yeah, I mean, it depends how you're, you're focused on the numbers at the time, you know? If you're in a positive mood, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're feeling lucky. All right, what, what's Christian saying here? That might alert Neil to his missed cubes if he learns about his PR. Checker plays were no-brainers. So the only way they can see it is if they go onto YouTube and actually like watch it as they go to the like you know somewhere, or they come into this room because it's not on any TVs out in the main playing room. So I don't think the players do have or should have access to this information until the match is over. It, they might be playing it in the other main room with people sitting on the chairs. 
Might be. Sometimes they are. Stream one is just first table over here. On this, on, on so on the on the other side of the partition. Yeah, yeah, they, they might they can't be playing see it. Yeah. But if you went to the restroom, you might walk by it, depending yeah, on what they not. see. But again, you might. I mean, he he might see seven and not know that it's all missed. You know. Yeah. But I also don't personally like knowing how I'm playing in the middle of a match because if I'm playing, you know, well or poorly. I don't know, it could throw me off mentally. Yep. I'd rather just not know until it's over. Playing well puts more pressure on you, and playing worse makes, makes you me feel, feel bad. bad. <laughs> it makes me feel bad. I'd like to just think I'm playing well all the time, even though it's not the case, you know? Basically, if you're playing well, it goes to your head and you get sloppy, and if you're playing poorly, it goes to your head and you feel bad for something. That's what we just said, yeah. <laughs> I just know one thing. My score is generally positive at the end of the day in the Head. Dim this makes me feel good. Dimitri keeps asking you, who's the best player in the U.S.? Justin, who is the best player in the U.S.A.? In the United States. Wow. Out of players that are here? Let's... I'll just go with Victor. Victor or Dana. It's Victor or MCG, I would say. Yeah, well, yeah, MCG, obviously. I was just thinking about players that... Uh, We're talking about here. this tournament. Well, that would be good. Yeah. Good. No. Okay. Yeah. No. MCG. Yeah. There we go. That's that's definitely a safe bet, right? My there. my money's on Victor. In a PR competition like this, I'd probably take I'd probably take MCG. But that's a good bet because Victor would never play one of these. Yeah. <laughs> All right, how do you beat an anchor? You make an anchor, so you split up. Yeah, Gary, Gary Tanzi, of course, is uh, Jerry Tanzi is, is also a monster, of course. Wilcox Snellings lives in Costa Rica, but he is American, of course, right? Uh, okay, there's legends. They're trying to set me up with this question. Have me just forget people, you know? I'm the worst with names anyway. It's hard for me to remember. Henlin is here in San Antonio, Dice Man. Yeah, he is. Like say for sure. Mr. Dice or Mr. Yeah, mi yeah, Mr. Dice Man. It's... All right, what are we doing with the ace, though? Is the full roll? I don't know what a... We... Yeah, well, fine. hold on a second. Albert's down to 59 seconds, and it's only 4 to 3. Sounds like, should be turn... Sounds like he should be turning the cube. That's... that's dicey, because you could play three more games. In this. It's possible. 59 seconds at 4-3 is not a lot. Huh? I was at the... Uh... What was it? One of these BMAP tournaments in Chicago? I played like seven games in seven seconds. Uh, that would be fine. It's not a lot of time. You can't really think. It might be better that way. Maybe yeah, you just made it fairly. It, five. Constructing the And um, that which might is, be which time. Is, which, is, which, is something he, which, is, which is something he finds every day of time. I mean, he's clearly... I mean, that, that play to me shows he's, he's aware of the time pressure. He's stressed, yeah. Because yeah, that's that's... Clearly, you need yeah, to yeah. move I'm one not, of the four men on the 20 point. Critical, but that's basic coming there with the five and that's true. Yeah, for sure. Because you're, you're covering the three with half the number, then you look around as to what's the most effective way to play the rest of them. It's, and, an easy, it's an easy play to find. Yeah. Now, look, we need to be critical. We're sitting here being the commentators, you know? Obviously, these it's guys always, are some of the best in the world. It's always easier. Of to course. Play. Of course. And, and obviously, these guys are the best in the world. Okay, just out and down. I mean, this is going to be an issue, though, for Albert. Hey, man, right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
Interesting. How are you? <clears throat> Yep, pop out, right? Well, Chris, it's actually Monte close to make the four. Point. In Monte Carlo this year, will, will you play the, the regular UBC tournament? Um, Probably not, because I won't get there in time. I actually, I actually want to go well one day on Thursday before the tournament and wander around Nice for a day, because I've never actually spent any time in Nice to see the city, which I want to see. And then I'll get there Friday for the Monte Carlo Open. Okay. I think I'll be playing the UBC tournament that's going in, in the Nordic Open. Well, that's a good role. Like Makes the point. So. Yeah. Yeah, All the way up. Probably just, kind of just all the way. Yep. See any reason to play four three hours mm -hmm. There's no point in trapping yourself in with fours. Depending on what blue rolls, I could see Neil doubling. Yep. You just give yourself bad fours by staying back. I don't see the, uh, the only thing you could be looking at is threes are a bad number for Albert because the because of a contact three point away. But I, I think this is just over uh, overthinking the simple play. You want to Give yourself three exiting numbers next time, not two. Yeah, I just, just... I, think, I think he's worried about, like, I don't want to give Albert a good three, but I think it's overthinking. I think Albert's going to hit him this if he can. He's going to have to. And it's 4-3 is close, though. It's not... But, yeah, I would play 20 as well. Oh, did it wind up being very close? It was close, yeah. That's okay, 6-2. Right, so, so, oh, this is wrong. Is this potentially a double? Hold on a second. You're down 4-3. Yes, Neil. Come on, man. Yikes. That's that's why it was wrong to hit because Neil supposed Neil supposed to double there and he could give him for the match. Yeah. I'm surprised he didn't double him. Now it's too good. Was, yeah. Now he's got to play out for a gammon. Yeah. <clears throat> well, when I when I saw Justin click it. And I saw eight two three one was better than hitting. I mean, that's your tell that Neil had a massive double, and it may not even be a take because of the gamuts. And do you think the hit that he made, the hit was wrong? I, I kind of missed it. Was wrong to hit. The hit was wrong. The hit was and wrong. Do you the think hit was wrong it... by a little bit. Yeah. And 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 when the hit is wrong there, because clearly for cash, it the hit more. would be correct. Yeah. Okay, what that's telling you is that Neil's got a. It's, it's wrong because Neil's going to have a massive double where he can win, where he can get And it was a match. massive cube. It was and, like and a 250. Albert, Albert needs to just preserve his, his 30% from the race by not giving Neil that opportunity because if Albert plays a 2 3 1 and Neil doubles, then Albert might have a thin take because, because there's no gambling risk. I got two questions for us. One is, do we think. Do I find that, do I find that play on either? No, 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 no. My question is, do we think Albert's miss on the hit was partly time based as well? And then second oh, I question. I think he thinks it's the best play to win the game, which it, it probably was. And my second question is, do we think Neil now notices the time on Albert and wants to try to extend the game? I don't know I if he's think thinking. I think the second answer is Oh, what a shot. That's, That's a shot. No. <laughs> <laughs> He knows where that one goes. He's too good, right? Way too good. Slot. There we go. And he shouldn't need much time to play this game either. This is simple, right? Okay. Six hits. Three, Three. comes down. Can't let him anchor. It gives him too wow. much. Wow. Oh, but he does anchor. Five points. He wants to put two guys on the roof, but you can't. But you get to make the five. Wow, no swing. What there, a huh? shot. Yeah. <laughs> see, they are watching it out there. Oh, can they see it on the other side of the Yeah, partition? on the partition, yes. Oh, I didn't know they were watching it. Oh, so they must be watching the YouTube stream of it, not the... 
the direct feed that we have. Okay. I like now, I like Neil's position here. What do you think? Does Neil <laughs> is Neil Neil has a double, right? Oh, two six. This is a this does is Neil. I I think Neil has a double. Neil's gonna have. I think Neil's got a double here. Oh. I, I would double this, Neil. Yes. See again. Neil got a but I think that the two gave him the take. Oh, oh. The two gave him the take because now Albert has eggs. Neil, come on, Neil. Don't miss this one, Neil. A six wins you the game. This is true. Maybe. I think he's, <laughs> I think he's gonna find it. I think he's gonna find it. And then I think Albert's gonna take this. Although Albert, I, I, I would I would cube and give it to Albert with fifty nine seconds. Make yeah, make Albert quickly. In this one. Yeah. Big mistake. I know that. Big, big mistake. <laughs> All right, based on history of this game, he might not these, double. These but... prime versus primes where you have a slight disadvantage in... Uh, you got disadvantage mm -hmm. timing, but you have one number. Uh, four, four. Or generally Wait, he didn't cube? He didn't double. He yikes, just rolled. Yikes, yikes. <sighs> yes. Yikes. So the question now is, like, do you attack on the ace? Yes. Your timing's done with the 4-4. With the four, four. So you need the time to roll the 6 to get out. So you have to yeah, put you two just on the roof because allowing him to you anchor just lost would be the terrible. Timing you got to contain him and roll the two sixes. Got to hope he stays out a couple rolls while you finish the attack and close out. What's it want you to do? It wants you to hit loose on the ace. Yeah, wow. but, but but from the nine point. Yes. Yeah. He should put the A the A four back and then just Wow. That's not a legal play, you played five there. Okay. okay. They found it. Mm. Okay. Neil's down to a minute thirty one himself. Yeah. Or six. I don't think he does no cube now, right? Ooh, double ones. Oh oh what about switching? You could Okay, switching is wrong by a lot. Sorry, but I would have thought about it. Just because your your time is really bad. Well, with the guy in the 24, I think the 7 no, puts Neil's pressure on him for the next roll. Oh, too. One Ooh, was super I was going to say Neil rebuilt this position, then he probably went to the 6. But that's he rolls the 6, he's still doing good. 6-1. Wow. I think I would play 5-4 to four instead of this. It's a 50-50 game. Just because I think it's better overall if he does roll a 6 to have more diversified builders on top of the stack. And hit, right? To attack with. No, no hit. Okay. I, I might have hit. You let him come in with a 1-3. Yeah, you a, want him to crack. Let him come in with a 1-3 one, or 1-5. One, 1-5. One, one, yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, I don't know. Nice. Wow. Okay. Well, it's the same thing. Albert's not missing. It's yeah. the same thing, but uh, reverse from the other situation from before. You don't have the 6. What had the 6 prime? Well, you have it. You have numbers to point, and you could roll a six, and the other guys. Albert, oh, Albert didn't oh, miss it immediately. Absolutely amazing. All right, four to one is like a fantastic I would hit. play. Yeah, I, I would love hit. this. I love that he's not worried about getting hit back. Even though Neil just because he already rolled double ones once, you can't do it twice. And that's against the rules. I, 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 honestly, I, also five point board against a four point board versus two men with only potentially one man back. So I think even if you get hit, you're still a favorite. Yeah, you're doing good. Although, although you will cry a little bit, of course, I mean, you're, you're not happy to be hit, but I think a you're still a you're still a solid favorite. You're gonna cry, even if you are a hit. little bit. Six. Double six leaves a shot. I play, I, I play oh. five three, six four. I mean, three and six. Three and then six. Yeah. All right. Well, he's got to play a little aggressive for the for the gammon if he wants it, right? Two and then off. I would, I would, I would take off. one off. But I'm, I'm a bit I would have took it off too. I'm I, a bit I, aggressive. I, I, I don't. I, I would have took it off. You got to fight for this gammon right now. Five four. Okay, I just go to the yeah, one yeah, point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we're not taking. This is where you, this is where you start to get a little worried. Yeah, this is where I'm like, actually, you know what? I, I just honestly feel as if I just only think about my good. That's numbers. a good roll. That's a I'll great only roll. Only roll my good numbers. It's a great roll. There's a guy Neil's in New York in we play with that only thinks big of his, trouble. his worst numbers, and then he rolls them, and he feels unlucky. 
I only think of my good numbers, so when I roll them, I feel lucky. Is that me? Neil's no, in big trouble. <laughs> Although you do see bad numbers sometimes in the in the shoe, yeah. Neil needs big doubles. Rip it, rip it. You rip take it. him off. He, he's a favorite to enter, so you just rip it for the G's, you know. Or you think about it for fifty-five seconds and lose on time. And yeah, because this keeps you even. Yeah, take him off. He's gonna enter. Of number six, number five. And then you're a roll closer, right? Six. six one, okay. Yeah, and he's even, see? Yeah. He's oof. Six five. It's I mean, not gonna it's a, do it. It's a lot of pips, but he's still going to likely need a double unless he rolls a he couple of aces. Five he four. He needs doubles. Big. Six one. So first the ace crosses over, and the six I think might just come. With the double, 15. It's gonna be double fours or better. Fifteen to nine. It's yeah. gonna be double fours or better. He How do you get double fours though? Fifteen nine. Fifteen. Okay. Fifteen, 15, 15, 15 nine. 15 yeah. nine. You gotta. Yeah, the one has to cross over. Is he thinking about crossing over the other no, one? No. No. So yeah, yeah. He won't get anything but double yep. six. Yeah. It's just this is way to get double. He's this gonna look at it. One, two, three. All right. Five. Yeah. Yep, fours come off. He counted it. All right. Five one. All right. This is your time to Three shine. Shakes. Oh, oh. Albert Stay. All right. Why is good take off? Four Seven four two. to six yeah. five. Huh? Now, now we give you the answer. Who knew taking off checkers wins more gammons? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Novel concept. <laughs> uh. No take off, no gammons. All right. Well, that was fun. Yeah, that was. Uh, Thank you for having me. Of course, I'm glad you were here. More enjoyable with more people, you know. Thank you, Chris, as well. Welcome. Oh. Well done, Albert, with uh, the finishing moves there. You know, giving that cue, rolling the six, hitting him off the ace, which I think might have been wrong by like one percent, but I, I liked it. I would have done it. Which one? The six three. Yeah, I would hit. I would hit too. Love it. That was a fantastic match. I know uh it's stream one is gonna be on Avi versus the Sky Joe Urso next time. So I, I am Oh, was this Good you? Okay. Avi Cohen versus, versus Joe Urso. Right. Now I'm gonna go make all my mistakes. Yeah, uh, all the things yeah. you got right yeah. as a commentator. Yeah. Just we'll remember we're gonna, we're gonna we'll see, see the how opposite. Yeah. Just, just remember it's, it's all right. it's all yeah, obvious. That's right, it's true. It's gonna be the, <laughs> the oh, a lot easier from sitting here. This is a definitely this is a good way to like warm up and sharpen up. You could see some of the cube actions ahead of time if you get in similar situations, you know where to be. Hopefully. Your circuits seem to be firing quite well this Hopefully. morning. Hopefully. And yes, Avi's an obvious well, aggressive well, so player. We do that. We never quite perfect the process. <laughs> Avi is very aggressive. So my mindset, you know, like you were saying before, the mindset of, of how your opponent is doubling too late or too early, I, I, I think Avi's pretty aggressive. So well, I, I, my mindset will be Avi's giving me a double. It's more likely to be a take because he's pretty aggressive. Well, against aggressive players, you break close plays early in favor of making an anchor because nothing nothing frustrates aggressive players like like them you having their four or five point and you yeah you assume he's probably doubling a little early so if you're not sure it's a day. yeah that's that, that's that's my working assumption that obviously a very very good player I, I i just view him as a little little bit more aggressive with double q people all have their styles yeah i don't think i've ever played him so all right anyway all right good luck thank you all right thanks for Sorry, I'll get promoted from the gallery seat. <laughs> <laughs> to, to being on camera now. All yeah, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my mic off and go grab something to drink, get some more water or something, and I'll be back. You want a cup of water or something? Uh, should I go with you, or do you need me to stay here? No, you can. I'll go with yeah. you. Can come. Okay, we'll be back.
school.
אביב, אתה מוכן? אביב, איפה אביב? אתה מוכן, אח שלנו? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Group B, round six. Joe Urso versus Avi Cohn. Avi is from Florida. Miami, yeah? New York. And oh, Joe Urso is from New York. He was just on commentary with us not too long ago. We saw that he was feeling uh, very, very sharp with his cube actions at the score. So let's see if he can do it over the board, <laughs> which he has been uh, so far. So, He's been playing quite well. So, yeah, typically people play better as commentators than they do as players themselves. We'll see if Joe can. Uh... Especially with an XG feed. No, I'm yeah. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 3-1, makes the 5. Uh... Did he split with the 2-1, Avi, instead of slotting on his first roll? It's a little funny. He did do that. He did do that, and now he's on the score. No, no, it looks like Joe had an opening 2-1. No, Avi did it first, I think, right? Maybe, I'm not sure. Generally, 2-1, 2-1 is like a counter slot, but... 4-2, okay, we make the 11. No, we just make new points. Simple backgammon. I try to escape, I try to make anchors, I try to make points. Oh, this is a great shot. This it's makes the five point. Point. Okay, I see him pointing at it, so I know he sees it. He's pulling the Babe Ruth, you know, you just point to the outfield, hit the home run. Double ones makes the four. 
small advantage to blue here. 6-5, okay. Abi takes the game over with this roll. Blue needs a 3 to equalize. They have it. Probably just play 13-9. I yeah. don't see anything else. Two fives a great I shot. I, I would make a run for it here, yeah. Any yeah. five or six misses. Get to do it with tempo. Gives you a better chance of getting missed. Does he get missed? He no, does he not, not get missed. Now, now Joe's, Joe's winning the game because Joe's, he's got strong prospects to contain prime that last checker. Joe's back in the lead again. This two four is bad. I would probably play six to two, even though I can see seven to three is correct. Maybe because there's too many rolls that will just make the bar. So I, that, I don't think that's it. Me either. I would. I think I'd make the ice point here. Yeah. I put that checker to use, and you never know when you're. You never know when you're going to uh, have some contact and that extra point. Yeah. No, making the one looks pretty clear. I don't know what else the extra spare checker on the deuce is going to do. We didn't even look at that. He played out at six five. Yeah. I mean, he jumped into a quadruple shot instead of making a new point in your board. So now, Bobby. Uh, he does. So we should probably do that. Keep those guys on the 9.7 away. I like that play. Much better than coming in on the 22 and like 5 3. Sorry. Uh, I would just play. I would just I play simple he, here. I don't think he has anything other than. Yeah. yeah. I would probably just play 13 to 4. I mean, I know this is more flexible for trying to make the 3 on the next roll, but I don't know. I couldn't do it myself. I don't mind this. Those guys. No, uh, it's the best play. The, the but... guys on, those guys on the 9 point armor. It's, it's lots back in this week 3. And, you know, this obviously gives you more run numbers to make the 3. And, and, and if, you know, you're better diversified to hit a loose on the 2 if that's what you want to do next time. And this play is forced almost. I mean, anything else is going to like leave a shot or just look silly, so. He's counting the race, he's going to notice he's down 22 pips and he's not going to do anything. Still counting. He's down 34 pips, so I'd probably wait. It's not like he's stuck on the 24 behind his structure. He can no, always leave just, at 6. Just by casual inspection, not nearly enough market losers here. 5-5, uh, 5-1, five, 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 one. One, five, four, maybe double fours, but it, you're, you're talking 5 or 6 numbers, and, uh, and, and those numbers that make the 3 points. He should hit. He should hit. He should hit, I think. You know, the 6 is out. I mean, are pretty devastating, and he has a blot in his board. He's down in the race. I don't know what... The goal of this is 6-5 hits instead of fanning. All right, so he has what? Threes to hit back, Three plus 1-2, so 13 numbers. 3-4 numbers. Do it. does it. Hello, Albert. Of course. Okay. Actually, I think I would find that play, but it's only a tiny error. It's actually the best play on plus it's plus. The best play on plus. Wow. By a super small margin. I don't think I would have considered it. <laughs> He's going to find this play because. It's not plausible that coming in on the ace or the three is correct. So he's no, coming it in can't here look, looking, at, looking at the uh, ace and he'll find seven. Six, the problem six, with coming in on the three is that, I mean, he just has so many more yeah, numbers yeah. that are going to play on him on the yeah, three. Yeah, point. He, yeah. There's no way he could talk himself to coming in anywhere other than 23. So he's just looking for the ace here and he'll find it. <laughs> As we see, any play that doesn't come in on the 23, it's a plunder plus. Okay. 
And I think seven to six is just better for attacking the, the checker that's on the 22 point. If it, if it comes to that, you know. And here I don't want to prime myself. When all else fails, I just go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. My that's my strategy. It's a big, big a double blunder. Did he make this play? Yeah, he did. Well, that's not good. If he didn't have three guys back, I would consider cubing, but it seems a bit too early. Maybe you can make the five. The, no, no, just make the point. Just make the point. It gets you closer to the cube by a lot. There's a lot of flunking numbers here. This being one of so them, I think you have to hit, and then you give the cue, and then you let him figure it out. So it looks like it's going to be a double the tiny take if uh, he makes the proper play of hitting and a pass on any other play. Pass no matter what. Pass no matter what, okay. Yeah, give it a shot. The cube is clear. Now, let's see if Avi's feeling optimistic or pessimistic today. Have you played with him before, Chris? Um, just once or twice. I, 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 uh, I had the same general impression that Joe did, which is that he's a strong player whose tendencies, uh, tend towards a slightly aggressive, you know, when, you know, when I'm playing somebody like that, I uh, probably will, they double me and I'm not sure I'll break ties in favor of taking The board is set up in and, different directions. And, uh, this is uh, going to be tough to play. This is going to be a very difficult position to game and analyze. Uh, now we're going to have to roll for it to see which way we go, I think. Um, do they not notice what's happening here? What, what? What's going on here? I've never seen this one before. This is the first All right, time. they got it. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. When I was in Monte Carlo this year, we had uh, Oliver Squire versus um, Nunez. Yeah. And they played an entire game with, like, I think two fewer checkers on the board. Two? Two fewer checkers on the wow. board. They were on camera, but just off the board the entire game. Nobody noticed except for one uh, female that was watching in the chat that alerted us. I didn't notice... Uh, I think whoever was doing commentary with me at the time didn't notice. The other 500 people watching didn't notice. The two players playing didn't notice. How could you hide two checkers? They weren't hidden. They were right there in plain view, just off the side of the board. No one noticed. That's an excellent shake, the type of thing you need to stop the cube. It's a cube saver. Yep. Five one. I would just enter on the twenty. You you enter on the twenty and then uh, play ten nine. You see you're duplicating. Yeah, of you're duplicating the eights six two particular. Yeah, I mean there's nobody there to attack you yet either. So I mean, I'd rather take the chance to make the advanced anchor while there's only eight checkers in the zone. No, yep. no spares to attack you. Getting stuck on the twenty four is bad. Six four. You just got to run. Six four no. Oh, you don't have to run. God damn. You're out. I mean, I thought you were run for sure. The fives are just gonna hit you loose now. Okay, that's a five, and it just hits you loose now. Yeah, but let's get a checker out of there if they roll well. Maybe sometimes he misses. But you don't open yourself up to this. I think is the thing. You know. It was actually, it's a, it was a, oh, no, you can't do It increases this. a lot, like, the volatility too much. This is, this is passive Peter. <laughs> catching on, it's catching on. This is the only, this is the only, <laughs> this is the only buy turn. Keep the, uh, oh, that's a bad play. No, but he gets, he gets to clean everything it's just, up. It's just a week. I don't, I'm not saying I would do it. I'm just saying yeah. it's the only thing you would look at. So it's, uh, 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 and he gets punished. 
No swing there, huh? No. Okay. <laughs> and it's just a double drop, I guess. Oh, it's a huge take. What What are you passing this for? You just anchored. Yeah, I guess so. One guy back, two guys back. You've got an anchor. I mean, even if you roll 6-5, you still have a 2. I was thinking it was too good if he dances, so now it's like a, it's a pass, <laughs> right? But, yeah, you can see you still have life. You could stay back. He still has a checker on the 14 and play around. The thing is, I don't think you lose many gammons from here. I can't imagine he hits here having to shoot. No, no, you can't. Having to shoot the hit last roll. If you didn't want to hit last roll, you certainly don't want to hit now. You certainly would have gained by hitting last roll. I mean, double right, fours right, is a... Uh... Right, but if I'm saying if you weren't comfortable hitting last roll, you're certainly not comfortable yeah. hitting that. Um, Bobby correctly doubles. Now, let's see Fantastic if Joe... cue let's from Bobby. If... Let's see if Joe... This is a double blunder to pass. Let's see if Joe can find his take. Okay. Because it's, it's aesthetically... It's about a he got up. I think he went to go see the uh, the feed. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side of the park. Cheeky bastard. <laughs> but the clock is... He's using his fellow friend. Yeah, phone a friend. The clock time. is still running. Well, it's his turn, of course. I think, he did, I think he's just standing up. And we I think can't he's see standing him. up. Yeah, sometimes he. Oh, no, he was just stretching, I think. Why is he a picture to sound stream? I still take pictures when I'm on stream. Or Why? Recording it's it's as well. recorded. And because, it's, and it's because, because you right don't there. want to go back through the video file if you want to check like, oh, right gotcha, after the match gotcha, immediately. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. I learned that from the Mr. Short, Steve short, Take short pictures the, and videos. The short is at the type of position that looks like it would be a double blunder to pass. But he makes yeah. it. Yep, no, I, I, I think he was a favorite to, to take there. That's not a good one. Right, you should not. be a massive favorite to take a double. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. I mean, any of these players are a big favorite to take them. 3 1, game. great shake. 6 5 would be like the perfect number. Double 6 also. 3 1, less than ideal. 6 4 is a super joker. 6 4 is fantastic. 3, Three two, 2, on the other hand, is just 2 down. Hopes to get missed. Now he has more good 6s. And he six runs two, out. just comes out, hopes to be missed with the 20 numbers. So close 13 5 is there. That's wild. I guess because you don't want to get hit and let him run out when you're on the roof. 3 4 misses. This is like fantastic to not be on the 24 anymore yeah, after no this kidding. roll, huh? Yeah. No swing there. Advantage orange. 4 1, four, makes, one the makes the point. Yep. Don't want to get hit now after all this hard work you just did. Now I guess you just can't come out. You lose too many games. Just stay back and hope that wow, twenty four sixteen is the best play. It's tied. Yeah. You're playing. I need some, for, I need some higher you're analysis. Playing, you're there. playing for six one six well, two the, five I mean, one five two. The thought is, is like, like, what are you gonna do on your next roll? No, you know? no swing there. Huh? Well, no, he would have closed out the yeah. checker behind. I yeah, know, but he's better off on the on the ace point now. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I think you are in trouble either way. Well, you're in less trouble now. I think you might be in like a very similar amount of trouble. I just don't know how you win games or you get don't win. You just, get, you just get gammon the other way. Three, two. You might just have to stay. No, you have to go because you want to point on him. Yeah, it's a tricky one. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. There's a lot of merits for both plays here. This play lets him crunch more. The other play just brings in. It's ready to bear off. And if he I runs out, probably you can clear the seven. I mean. I don't mind him running and allowing myself to attack here. No, you're certainly going to play. You're going to play max aggressive. Yeah, you are. So it's four, four comes off. Six three. You're just you're, you're playing max aggressive. Look at that. It's wrong. Really? Supposed to Man, unstack well, I, a six. Yeah, it's six it's two. Okay, now it's he good. gets to attack. He hopes to just point naturally, but attacking is like going to happen as well. Three two three, does two. not attack. He just takes off and plays six four. You don't want to hit. I don't think so. No. Is six one clearly wrong here? Oh, no, no. six one is not fishy, clearly wrong. Fishy here. Ryan. <laughs> fishy cakes play. I'm don't you worry. I'm pulling okay. passive Peters myself. Passive Peter. I mean, his board is busted. There's a blot there. You want him to stop rolling to get the other guy around the yeah, board, right? Yeah, I see. It. You went against your own new rule. Ryan. I know. I know. It's crazy. Never, never go against. Listen to what I say, not what I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mommy, yes, Daddy. So here he's just got to switch and take one off. I, right? so, I mean, yeah. it's time to yeah. put him on the roof and stop. Either that or five to one. I mean, five to one is going to win more games probably. Um, just why does he, doesn't he try to make a better, more aggressive play for a game? I think he thought he was by taking more checkers off. 
But putting him on the roof stops him yeah, from bringing in the freight from the out outfield, you know? Yeah, now he can now find now this one. Now, 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 this now it's got to be a massive error to play anything other than hitting him and bear it off. It's a good size error. Oh, but Avi's going to find this play no problem. This is his style, though, you know? <laughs> from what I've heard. <laughs> One three for who? Yeah. Don't clear a five point there. It's better spare distribution. I think they were even actually. Okay. He can't hit. And that's a single game. All right, two one. <clears throat> okay, I mean the game's over, yeah. yeah. There's no gamuts. Yeah, you, you keep playing on in, the, in this format in case you make a resign error somehow. No. Here, you don't take a checker off, so you get another decision next ball. I'm serious. Yeah. 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 Oh, I see. Yeah, and he's because, doing it because you get off the gammon right. next roll, right? That's so dumb, man. Even this, I think it's better to play two to one just so you have an not now of 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 because now now I can roll you double a four you. because you have an option of how you play a four. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's what he did. He he no, but he should have played two to one. So he so he had the choice of not taking a check off, <laughs> roll the four, right? It's silly, but like that's the game within the game that you're playing here. All right, PRs don't look so good. It's a silly game. My favorite, my favorite it's one. Silly. My favorite one of that is when you're on the very last roll and you have a checker on, uh, on the two and a checker on the one, and you roll an ace. You actually get credit for a decision by burying the two guys off and winning the game. What was what versus, was Joe's big versus mistake? Versus playing, playing the one first, yeah, one, taking one off, off one guy, yeah. losing, losing the game. What was Joe's <laughs> big mistake in this in this match so far? Oh, I he had, what he it had was. a five three, but what was the cube? I don't remember. Yeah. You don't normally see Joe playing this side. He'll get down. He'll get down. Early days. Early maybe, days. Maybe they're negotiating the starting position. No, I remember the cube. Um, vaguely. Nice roll. Double three. Just right? up and down. Yeah. 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 Standard. Standard play. Split. After a split, that doesn't point on him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This comes out to the bar, I think. Comes out in triple shot, which is the right idea a lot of the time. Let him hit you outside better than pointing on you on the inside. And you have to step up with one of those guys. Okay. 3-2 is a hitter. That's a hitter. Just hit him hitting down. No, not hit. Uh, I would play hitting down, but apparently 10-8 slightly better, just cleaning up the blood. Probably hitting down as well. We're all making the same mistakes, gentlemen. This is not a mistake. It's a point zero two. That's, that's, actually, okay, that's, okay. that's exactly it's what the mistake is. Shut up. It's within the range of style. Is this a slotting yeah. play right now? Six to five? There's a lot of duplication of aces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would slot. What's the best play? Slot. slot. Doesn't even slide in the bars, really. Obviously, if we do that over slide five, it's. Yeah, this is kind of weak. Passive. Peter. That's right. Pretty good. Pretty good shake. Pretty good uh, swing there. Oh, look at this. 13 7 is better than making the three. Yeah, I can buy that. Because you want to queue no matter what. You just don't want to let him hit, let him hit you, right? And 4 5 does hit. Now, now you're what? You're going to cube this? I guess you kind of have to considering the score, but it's an easy take. It is a cube. Uh oh. miss it. Now he's going to hit. It, and any course. fan is obviously like a questionable too good. Fan, we see fan. it, and I think it no. is too good. This is super I think it is too good. Too. <clears throat> Obvious market gaining sequences are basically you with don't cover. Seven, one five seven, hits. Five one hits. And it comes down. Down. Yeah. More material in the zone, of course. Now, if he hits back with one, you can cube off the roof. He rolls a single. Four. Like a six four, yeah. One five still plays on. Okay, six six is six, nice. Six makes the ace. Yeah, twice. 
You can't cover. I mean, you, you would prefer to cover, maybe, but I mean, this yeah, is like I mean, breaking the gamuts. You can't cover. Then come down, get more builders. You're not scared of getting a prime with this nice two prime. Yeah, no, there's no re there's no reason to do that. You right? can do this later when the guy's closed out. Oh, that's a stupid play. All that does is also make it Now worse. if he enters now with a deuce. Now when he rolls a double two joker, you, you have one fewer number process. to attack on the two point now. Yeah, plus the... Four two makes Four, two, two makes point the on the head. He's a big favorite to get a gammon now. Three one, that's the wrong four. Five two, brings some more checkers down. One down, two down. Both down. Yeah. Again, you're not scared of getting primed. Sometimes it's, it's okay to jump out when he has like a, a bar point or a nice three prime or four prime going along. But here, you just want to bring checkers down to check out, close them out. Double six. Is, brings as much ammo to the zone as you can. Like down one, to the nine, two, out into the and five. Then I would cover the maybe double four. You don't four? have to cover. Just, no. just get maximum ammo for the thing. Think about it. What? What he does, whatever. Okay. Gammon City, population out of tongue. Unless uh, he leaves a shot somewhere. Don't leave double sixes. You could bring that, do that by just bringing two in. Yeah, just bring this here. Is there, he has one more play? Yeah, this is fine. This is like Four three goes to the three point. Oh, uh, there's a problem with the transcription. Yeah, he has three three on the uh on the dice what instead happened? of four three. Gotcha. Oh that was last roll. Okay, so now it's straight. Okay. And now he has four three. We just go into the three point of course. <clears throat> four two, there's no reason to play big and no. leave a double six, double five shot. So just just play two and clear the six and the five, right? So six four five one, right? No, five three, I think. Five three is better. better distribution. Four four. Just double Does clear. Yeah. He basically wins a gammon every time he's not hit, so this looks strong. Three one. Four two. No, you don't need to take two off. Whoa, whoa, you don't whoa, need to take whoa, two whoa. off. Yeah. He heard you. He heard you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Avoid a disaster there. That would have been a stupid mistake. It would have been fine. Yeah, he would have. But it's not worth the risk. Two guys on the roof. Roll 5-4, leave a shot, get hit. I think he may have done that just at the cost. <laughs> <laughs> there was a position when we were doing commentary before. Let's just see if the right commentator was awake only, here, right? <laughs> but there was only one checker on the roof. Who would you mean? In a previous match. So you got to play one more match now? Gotta, I got to play one more match? I don't know. Seven rounds? I'm not the tournament seven. director. It's your tournament. I have no idea. It's your tournament. No, it's a Rebello invitation. <laughs> I don't even know if it's possible to get off this. It's not. It's like... You can roll double 12s twice. I don't twice. think there's any decisions being logged. I don't think the PR is changing at all. Double 12 wouldn't even do it. Double 6, like, doesn't even do it twice. No, I mean double 12. If you could play a 12. I think it's, um... That is true. There you go. It's tough to take the ball off and start the next game. <laughs> okay, what is this now? 4, 5, 2? Oh, 3, 2. It didn't even cube that game. That's right. What? Oh, if he had rolled an ace there on the oh, last roll, roll. Yeah, he, he could take one guy off. Right. And then if and Bobby, and then Bobby like got four six, guys in. Like a mistake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, he missed the cube there, remember? No, I, I mean, I do remember now, but I thought uh, the entire time that he was going to win, like, four points there. That's kind of... <laughs> kind of standard for backgammon, winning four points on a gammon. Yeah, generally. This is why I like the uh, the Crawford rule in money games, you know? Yeah, I like that rule a lot, too. You don't get rewarded for being nitty. It's plus, to save stupid decisions. Point not too good. And you just get one point and have to, like, sulk that you missed a cube. It's you okay. Know? Let the guy let the guy leave a new, point, new guy in the box. If a guy missed a cube and then all of a sudden it looked like I was getting gammon on the next roll, I feel like I've won. I, I I would take a point anyway. Give me a point. 
I don't want to play him too good and risk him rolling double twos when you're when you're the cap or the box. Of course, I'm saying I'm glad I didn't lose four. Okay, okay, I got you. Four six, just gonna make a twenty and just slot the two, two point. Yeah. You don't want to leave a, a two shot, which is in consideration, but quickly ruled out. Yep. Double five swings around, Double makes five. a three. And hopes to get missed, in which case he has not a cube yet. Well, you gotta run for sure. Run, double five is always a runner in this in these positions here. Yeah, I think the problem with this is that like now he hits him with a three and he doesn't have to give yeah, up anything. This is actually, it's actually it. a blunder. So three two and then just lift to keep the so fewer blocks. Get safe. Yes. That's also true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could just be a repeating problem, right? Now all of a sudden he has to leave it. Okay, let's see if he finds well. it this time. Two sets of double five. <laughs> <in a> <laughs> this time, bar ten. ten no, so now you make the one. Yeah, but watch. Out. He's, he's going to come out and make the one. Or he's going to hang out and get pointed on. Well, he could hang out and not get pointed on. Well, if he hangs out, he deserves to get pointed on. Looks like staying, staying on the 20 is I mean, you have to go out at least once. You can't stay in the 20. Did he, like did he make his play? No, there you go. Good play. Okay. 5-2 is a hitter. Mm -hmm. We know this one. Is this yours? Yeah. 1-3 three, hits from the 5. Yeah. Oh, eight, five. Oh, this is good, yeah. Yeah, yeah he found that one. pressure on the I 23. Like yeah, I am. 5-4 hits and covers. Wow, Joker. Joker and a half, that one. Seems rude. Six two hits, or I could play safe. <laughs> no, no passive Peters. You guys are learning. That's very good. Okay, and dance? No, no upgraded anchor. Maybe. What about just six four? No, oh, it's wrong. Yeah, why well, do I need a better anchor here? Three points good enough, and you have a chance to unstack. Andrew getting it's killed close. in the race, but... It's close. And the other, just... the other play is more aggressive. I would have just done this automatically. Okay, six out, two just in. Now he's approaching a cube if he's missed. Which he's not. He's not missed. You have to hit. hit her. Even though it's scary. It's not so scary. It's, it's kind of scary. Not so scary. It's a little scary. A little less scary. <laughs> Okay. Four is good. Oh, look, that's even better. It's a mix of four. Starting yeah. to get scary. You don't for need Joker. an anchor. Yeah, dance here is it's like really a cube. starting to get scary for Joker. Dang. I feel like he'll find a roll here that'll make it fine. Like double one. Oh, he threw it into the tray, though. That's a blunder. Six one. One six. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. It's fine. Plan B. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Plan B. Not as good as double ones. And five two five stacks two. it up eight to six. Or are you stepping up? I'm eight stepping eight. up again. Eight to six seems fine. Okay, eight to six better now. And that's why you play eight to six, folks. Actually, you would have been pointed on. Yeah, but then you still would have been back in his home border. Right? Facts. Okay, now it's the race. He's ahead. He's had by a lot. Yeah, I think this is a cube. This now. is this is certainly uh, this makes it just a routine this is certainly double. A double. Yeah, at the score you at the score you're aggressive. Now he's now he's. Do you want to get the two away? So you can cube even a little bit earlier to money in in these. Uh, yeah, this is very very. Uh, do you cube more aggressively at the yeah, score non, right. in non gamish positions? Though? That's right. Yeah, even in on. Well, even if even trailing okay. like this, because you want to get the two away. So it's like a borderline double for money, but now it's like a clear cube. So now it's yeah. And it's still an easy take because it still has a lot of work to do. You just win so many games, right? 
Yeah, he might have had even had a small double last. No, he but, didn't. But, but okay. he uh, had five on the midpoint, so he wasn't threatening to clear that. So the market losers are pretty minimal. No, he rolled five three, didn't he? No, he rolled six one last. Week. I think oh, once he right. sees he's up twenty five pips, he'll flip this. Yeah, no he problem. might have right. But he wasn't threatening to clear that. So the market. I got you. Yeah. Okay, four four double fours. Okay. That's does not. I kind of want to make a sixteen point, it's but there's no not, reason it's to. Actually not, he's not close enough. You, to you can just you can just come out and then and then, and then play stomach. play down and in. So twenty sixteen, thirteen nine, thirteen five is my play. You can do this too, I guess. This is the best play, according to thy computer. Now you have to come out because you want to pressure to strip points. Like I need six. It's gonna stay. Two two, Double yeah, like two. this. So you you, you, can, you why don't you make a bar here? Yeah, you come out. You come out and just make the bar. Why do you need to come out with three? Just come out with two. Well you can do the first two and then think. Yeah, about you don't the come out, you don't come out with three because uh, you're not scared of really getting pointed on unless you're both double three. The play's virtually tied yeah, the with the other one. Virtually. Really? Yeah. yeah. I think this is why you come out, because now he makes a three point in, in the blood center a little bit of pressure. Yeah, There's a few numbers that if he doesn't roll a number that escapes or two, you know, he could have potentially have problems. This this is fine. I mean, Bobby's happy to be holding the key. I mean he wouldn't play he wouldn't win twenty ten here. So could leave a shot immediately. 2 1 makes two, an one. ace. This looks correct. Actually, it's slightly wrong, whatever. Ooh. 6 6. Blocked. Okay, it's a little fast. Blocks, but it's a good roll. The problem is, I think he could roll sixes first. Five but four? He oh, double fours. Double nice. fours. Really, Ryan? Before that, obvious. <laughs> Before that, obvious. Actually. And he's any nice ones. six one. Orange could still roll six one. Any here and nice six. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh. Sorry, Joe. And I'll be smirking, but he has still has to hit it. <laughs> and he needs to produce an ace from like space. He's smirking, but he still has to hit ace it. Ace from space. Easy. Oh. oh. Isn't it funny? You feel unlucky when you roll six one, even though you're missed. What do you mean? You feel unlucky that you rolled six one, but you, you got missed. So now he's playing the point. So it's fine. Because <laughs> you can't roll six one. But you again. still feel unlucky that you rolled it, maybe. Yes. You feel like I feel I feel like you feel yeah, much like like for a half a roll. You feel like the dice gods are after you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like why do I even have to feel this stress? You know. Nah. Joe has uh, worked his way down to a very nice uh, three sixteen. Yeah, it's good. Joe, cool. Three thirteen. To the one. Joe Shiesty. That's no, Joe Burrow. Uh, double fives, not as good. That's good. And he still has like zero percent to win, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so no, not great. <laughs> You've improved your winning chances from zero to zero. He wants to roll. Okay, he wants to roll a ones. You gotta have a decision. Yeah. No, he had a, he had a one there. Yeah, he, no, he, no, no, he, no, he no, would no, actually no. give Avi a, a slight chance. Is that 3.8 or 3.0? Hmm? 3.0. You really can't see? Shut up. Do you, do you, do you wear glasses? No. You, sh you should. I don't need glasses. <laughs> I don't know. Chris, can you let him borrow your glasses for a second? <laughs> no, because then I'll be blind. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just thought your vision would be better all, than all his. The, yeah. all, the, all the money this kid's wanted back in when he can't buy himself some glasses. He thought he was paid in hundreds. He was paid in, he was paid in ones. Oh. <laughs> I'll talk to your dad about that. Yeah. Glasses? Yeah. I don't need glasses. I think you might. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I had them, but I couldn't find them. <laughs> you want to slot a bar here? Uh, no, I guess that's probably I guess not the score. Huh? Well, you're also getting like a little trap. Not the score. Of course, as many of you know, uh, two away, five away is a uh, good score for the leader because his 
take point is a minuscule 16% in anything that is uh, not gamma ammunition, which Joe having secured the 21, this is uh, not at all gamma ammunition right now. Um, so we should not expect to see any cube action from either side for quite a while here. Six one, you make a bar. Make bar on the head, trumps making a five. Definitely. Look at that, look how close it is. It just goes to show how strong that five point. Just shows how powerful the five point is. That's even a five. One, two, three, and up again. Up. Oh. One, six, comes out. Good. And this might be a cube now. It's a little bit of gamut in there. Yeah, man, I think you're right. But it's definitely worth thinking about. There's only one play here that's not destructive. Oh, now it's like, a huge whoa. cube. Staying on the 24. Why is he doing that? I don't know. He's now, not. Now it's he's not. He's, 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 he's not. That? He's not. He's not doing it. He just wanted to look at it. Trust me. He's pulling emoji. He wants to get the guy's hopes up. That's all. He's pulling emoji. Oh, he's, he's really thinking about it. I mean, some of the sixes hop out. The sixes okay, good. here. I mean, the aces aren't great to hit you. This is not a double, right? Not, oh, it's, oh, it's not very much. close. I told you it's close. Just because there's a little bit of Six. gammon in there now. Now if he fans, they could pass almost. Two, three. Oh, you he cannot hit. No, you can't hit. Hit, hit gets a double. Hit gets a cube. But hit, might, hit, get, hit gets a double. He probably gets a cube anyway. Yeah, this uh, sends the cube. I don't know what he's thinking about. The first thing he ought to be asking himself is, is he taking this cube? And if uh, yeah. Bobby doubles and the answer is clearly no. No, if it is a take, if he has back to it. It's always important to remember that your opponent gets to roll next. And uh, once he thought about his opponent's yeah, next so roll, I'd be doubling he thought here. that this one was not so still, good. Still oh, still so 6-5 six, six, five, five, makes points. a 7 or a point. I like jumping out and making a 7. Strong. Yeah. Yeah. I think I would have made the point. Fish. I think I would have made the point. Fishy, fishy. Apparently. <laughs> Maybe. And it's possible. And 2, double 1. Yes, now there's no Q. Yeah, what else? Okay, it's four or five, swings around. Joe needs a two pretty badly here. Oh, a three one is nice shake as well. Very Still nice. has a problem of the checker on the 23 getting stuck there behind the point that was made. 4 1, you do not hit. You do not want a second guy sent back. This is a mistake. 2 6 from the bar, Bogerland. And you have to jump out now. I know it's scary, but you have to get up from the outside of the prime. Good play. Good, good play. 5-4, Dan's now he's never cubing because he could just play on too good and hope to win a lucky gammon. 6-4, makes a full 6 prime, maybe. You could make the 6 prime. You could make the 6 prime, you could hit. Six. Pretty hard to lose with making a 6 prime. Unless he anchors, I mean, he's on the... You know, 23 mm, Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Doesn't anchor, though. Double 5 is kind of nice. Double 6 is even better. Facts. 4-1, not so good. 4-1, not ideal. You don't hit here because he uh, needs a three badly. Yeah, he does. Wow. wow. You know the chances of fanning three times on a three. What's the picture? What's the chance of fanning three times in a row on a three-point board? Four cubes. Four yeah, six which six. is like nothing. Stay there and just play eight to seven. I think the threes are good to anchor anyway. So what's he gonna roll? Double threes? Well, uh, the more advanced Joe's position gets, uh, the the more the chance that Abby can make that uh, twenty-two. That's terrible. Four is and awful. Then... You just have to. Oof! I would have played behind, but paying me thirteen nine is better. That's, tr wow. that's a tricky one. I just said, okay, I'm not winning this game. Hope to make it six two when I come back. But nice play. Sees that he still 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 has a little bit of life in this position. If you can find a counter prime. Two six comes two, six, all the way out. Not from the bar, so we can't say Fogerland, but that's pretty good. Deuce. Nope. Nothing. Now what? Did you just make a four. I guess not. 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You should make both, should make yeah, A's, make both points and go for the G-Bird. Which is even right at DMP, I think. Is it? Not. Super correct here, though. This no, Gammon is. wins in the correct. entire match. Is it? Yeah. Six tenths for percent. Four one brings as much checkers as can Four. on the two points. Just split off. Seems good. That ace gives you boxes. Reestablishes boxes to make it. It's got five two makes it. That nice. should be a wrap on this match. Looks like it. Five crossovers outside. He's probably about eighty percent. Seventy-five, eighty percent. Nice play from Drew. 75% exactly. One, two, three, four. It's fine. Six to four. Yeah. Get off bad doubles. One, two, three, and then what? Five to two? Yep. Don't leave no shots. Joe is closing in on an excellent effort. He's going to, uh, looks like, take the match uh, for the result. And take he's the got PR. a 248 PR, so he's going to win both he's points. Get, he's, he's actually, no, you don't do this. Don't do this, Joe. This uh, this will be bad. Wow, he did it. The problem with this play is he could still, if, if this is DMP, it will be very close between this play and the other play. It was because he could still because of the stay the gamut. Now he, exactly. he lets the gamuts get away, but now he probably gets away. But, now, but after this play, you can leave that the was shot actually now a like 6-5, you know? That was, was big, actually a blunder. It was a big blunder. That's yeah, the gamuts win you the match. You let the guy enter. You can get off the G's. You want him dancing. Six and stacks it up. Making the stacky stacky. I mean, if he did, if he did clear the six point before, why is he doing this now? If you're gonna if you're gonna pick a game plan, at least be consistent with it. I did. I didn't think after all the fantastic plays that he found during the course of the match that this yeah, was I going know. to be the I spot know. where. You going eat clucked up a little bit. I'm sure he'll still be very happy with the PR result though. Oh yeah, he'll be. I wonder how he's doing the rest, because it's the only thing I'm watching. He's playing better for saving gamins, by the way. It's like more efficient crossovers yeah, to you, Yeah, in these types of situations. It doesn't get, really matter. It saber, matter. The gamin saber always wants to use precise numbers of small numbers of parents at six point if you can. Okay. Nothing matters. I think Gavi would be happy with a 4.6. Well, that's it for this one. I got one more match to go now. And then we'll see you with the semis. Who are you playing next round? I don't even know. I'm going to find out as soon as I post it on the screen. We'll do it. If I had to guess, I'd say Albert, but I could be wrong. It's a one and three shot. Dana, oh Dana. Alrighty.
Salió el sol y yo quiero comer tu boca de desayuno Un wake and bake y un mañanero pa' que me eleve como el humo Chori, que bien te queda ese bikini Bebe, contigo yo me voy sin vini Vamos a hacer que esto pase. Ay, 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 baby, así es. 
been swimming in your ocean, drowning in emotion. Never been so pleasant, so caught in the moment. One look, you got me frozen. I'll follow where you're going. No, I could never leave him, you know it. A love that comes once in a lifetime, sinking in your eyes. I try to play it cool, but the truth is, you're my lifeline, my haven, and my sunshine. sky fall, let it crumble, I got it all, with your
Okay, when did the penalty point start? You could not. Yeah, they probably screamed him every man. I think he saw me sitting over here, so I, he'll be back.
If I roll two six from the bar, I'm screaming it louder than everybody else. Okay. You got it? I got you. I do, what I did at this tournament, the guy hit me loose off the three point desperation. He had the two and six points, man. I go two six from the bar. Tom Ravello, are you in the room? Tom Ravello. Are we good to go? Yeah, well, I don't know. Ask Tara. Okay. You're not transcribing? All right, so we have this match going now. No transcription on this one? No. Um, there's a reason. Why is that? We are using um, the transcription computer for deeper UBC analysis. Oh, there was no one off site doing it, so there's. No. Okay. We always do it here. Okay. So. Um, Yeah, it's a bit too slow. So okay. We apologize, but uh, it's definitely being live transcribed from offsite. Yeah. Okay. But it's a six four. He can't, right? So he has to either do this or just make the two. Six three misses should just make the four point. And just hope that he can't build anything here, of course. He does not. So here, this is the ace. And the question is, should we just do this with the five and get rid of the poison? Seems reasonable, actually. Even more reasonable now that Ryan didn't roll an ace. He stays back for the contact, of course. Five, three ends up making the three point. Two, one covers. He's doing all right. What do we have here for good rolls? Not 6-2. This is less than ideal. We're going to just slot the 5, I think. Minimize the number of shots. We get hit with all 3s plus 2-1. Does he roll it? No, he does not. Maybe it's better to play off of the 13 point here. I mean, it's not like he can hit you with aces with two blots in his board. I think it would have given him the opportunity to like make the 7 point instead, which I think was better. 
Now he has a blot in his board if he does get the hit, so he could get hit back. He fans. I would probably wait, just because I'm a bit bit nervous about rolling numbers like 6-2. So, if we want to minimize shots, we have to just play 8 to 2 and then 13 to 11. I think the only other play would be to slot the 5, and I don't have the fortitude to do that. I don't have the fortitude to, to, try, uh, to try that play. What was this? Oh, I missed this. This is better. That's a great play by Ray. Certainly uh, gave fewer shots. Five, two. All right, so what is the race now? I'm sure he's up by a ton. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so 60, 78, 88, 93, 101, 12, so 112 for one side, yeah, looks good. And the take is easy the question is just of the cube he's up a significant amount in the race so it might be okay i think the only problem is is that most of his racing lead is behind the anchor meaning he's going to have to give a shot sooner than later doesn't have many numbers uh, or many opportunities to try to roll doubles to bring this home so like he's really praying for a number like five four five three five two something to like Volunteer. Don't think four one is good enough to to just play thirteen to eight. So seems okay. Although I hate breaking my board, I also hate getting hit with seventeen numbers. This just has to cover now, though. I don't think there's any way we can get around that. Okay, so if he hits, he wins. If he doesn't hit, uh. He might get a second chance, but it seems unlikely. He does hit the hard way with 4-2. And now, Ryan just gets to play on. And he hopes to be able to hit loose and then leave it there and hopes to get hit back. Right, and this four is here. Just in case he rolls one six, he gets a shot with the ace immediately. One four, okay, he gets to pick up the checker, which is better than one six for sure. Six here, and the two just comes in. He's staying for all the shenanigans. Four three is a great number. It gets to hop over, and now he hopes to hit again. Six should hit. I think the six should hit. I'm not too worried about getting hit back. I would probably have hit. It seems reasonable to try to keep those uh, two blots there, even though there is like a small cost. The cost isn't very high. Probably would have just gone for it. We'll watch as Ryan takes this one to the house, yeah? He's just playing on here. He's, you know, Ray just kind of hopes he doesn't enter now. Ryan's going fishing, as we like to say, hoping that he gets to um, have Ray break down his three-point and leave a blot there so he gets to hit loose and gets hit back and then gets to pick up a second guy, in which case his gammons would go through the roof.
Now he'll get to cover because there's no more fishing expedition. But he still gets a ton of decisions here by playing on. So this is good for his overall PR. Even though we can't see his PR here, every extra decision will take away from any like errors that happen later on. Because it's like the amount of like your errors divided by the number of decisions, essentially. So he gets a decision for all of these. And as long as he's playing them correctly, it'll improve his PR. And he gets to a point where he could leave a shot somewhere. And so it's not worth the risk of playing on for like his, I don't know, like 3%, 4% maybe gammons here. So he just doubles, gets out of the game before he rolls double six and uh, gets hit. Which is unlikely, but still, so is the gammon. You want to sit down, Albert? All right. Feel free to have the microphone turn on. We're joined by Albert Steg. We uh, very briefly. Yeah, yeah. We just watched one of your matches earlier today. Congratulations on the uh, the win and the PR win in that match as well. Thank you. That was very exciting for me. It's always a tough draw when you get Neil Kazaras. Yeah, yeah. It's never <laughs> fun. But I mean, in a yeah. competition like this, every draw is a bad draw because every player is a good right. player. Right. You I know? absolutely feel like uh, my PRs are often weaker against less conven you know less conventionally strong players yeah i think so as well so like, i think sometimes the positions you wind up in um, are unconventional or well and, and it's hard to like xg knows how to squeeze out maximum equity from weird positions and uh not so much humans you know but anyway thank you six two so, all right did we run all the way or do we anchor and play down i think i'm just gonna run all the way I think I'm up significant in the race and don't want to, like, get hit for no reason. Yeah. I think. You make that anchor and then you have the headache of deciding when to leave it. Yeah. Here, this is tough. What Part of it? me wants to make the 18 and the 3 point. Is it 3-3? Three, three? Yeah, it is 3-3. Three, three. Part of me wants to make the 3 point and go to the 8 and bring the 3 down, but this is, like, my first instinct sort of play, but uh, looks good to me. Mm-hmm stopped all the sixes so he's not gonna have a lot of choices so it's a six here or two should just make the point i think mm. the ace is uh you know there's a little cost to that you yeah. know yeah he rolls the ace there's a lot of uh rebuttals but what else is there you're you, yeah yeah no the, you, you the grab yourself there. a concrete uh you form the rack as they say now nowadays yeah i mean and you okay. get a ton of returns here right? exactly there's a lot of rebuttals. Rebuttals. That's interesting. That's interesting. I haven't heard rebuttal as a backgammon. I think I just made it up okay. right now. Okay, it's uh, it's good. You were here for the invention of it. I like the mm -hmm. other three better because you generally don't want to give good sixes to your opponent from the mm -hmm. roof because those are always going to be bad numbers. Right. Um, but I think he saw the other way that like I guess fives and threes are yeah, also fives, blocked. Right. Yep. So maybe this is right. Wait, who's on roll here? It's, uh, oh. Who's on first? Okay. Hey, I heard you were referring to, uh, to this blue as teal earlier. I, I just don't know about that. I don't know either. Teal. I think this is more of a robin's egg blue. Really. Somebody teal told me that it was more of like a buffalo bill's blue. I don't know. No, no mm. Miami Dolphins blue. Oh, yeah. Possibly yeah. a powder blue. Something. A robin's egg. But teal, I, I, don't, I don't think so. Some people think I'm colorblind. Hmm. I'm kidding. I don't think so. My, my wife might. Yeah. But only with certain colors, like teals. Yeah. <laughs> Teal blindness. Yep. Well, okay. Looks like I have a match. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Have fun. All right. 4 2. I'll probably just make the advanced anchor on the 18. Uh, the reason I would do this over making the four is because uh, the four point is not as good as the opponent's five point that they already have. Making the 18 is a very nice improvement, whereas making the four point is pretty good, but not as good as their five. This just makes the four.
Double ones, not a great number. Probably just make the seven and play eight to six. I don't want to downgrade my four point, so making the seven seems reasonable. I think this is like a downgrade of your point, though. The four point is much better than the two point. I don't see an issue with just pushing it to the seven, where I definitely see an issue with making the two point. Five two is just five down, and the two just goes here to the four. Seems reasonable. Six four just tries to get out of dodge. Three one could hit. Wow. Looks dangerous. But if he doesn't hit, does he have another opportunity sometime later? I would need some time to think about this. Ryan's counting the race. Ninety-four, ninety-nine, one hundred nine, plus six is fifteen, nineteen, one. Yeah. Not sure what the race lead there is. We don't have the XG feed here, so I don't have the pip count right away. And let's just say that when I'm not playing myself, I do not enjoy counting pips. <laughs> Where's the race now? Obviously, Ryan knows it's good enough. He counted before. One twenty five for Orange. And 103 for uh, blue. Okay. Seems like a pretty good cube action here. Double and a pass. Seems reasonable. Three, two. This is just the conventional opening play. Split with a three, down with the two. The two hits. The ace is supposed to split now, of course. All right, double ones. We just split and make the five point. We don't make the hit here. If they do make the four, our five is better than theirs, right? So just generally what I'm thinking about if I choose to hit or not to hit in these spots. It's like who has the better structure if all things go well and the five point is better than the four point. Here, I think we can hit. You'll notice Ryan doesn't like to make these passive plays because of forcing your opponent to roll allows him to also roll poorly. In the six, I would just probably hop out. I don't like giving my opponent good sixes from the roof, but I just didn't see any other play that I liked as much. One six hits, that's a great shake. So Ryan's just going to continue rolling here. I don't think he's going to be uh, giving a cue, though I could be wrong. I think I would just continue to play here because I don't know. Okay. Let me just uh, toss this in here. I don't know. I know. Wow. Wow. Wild. Okay, so obviously like massive pass for money, which is like my main consideration, my main method of play. This was a no double and a scoop. Well, well played from one of our parties here, Ray Fogerland. <laughs> oh, Ryan is up a ton in the match. Okay. So the value of his gammons is diminished, and of course, if anything turns around, like his recubes are going to be coming super quick. Okay, so he gets to anchor here, and the six I would just bring in. 
in the chat, I hear the gammonless take point is around 19%. Makes a big difference. 3-1, I would just play the... Th wow, he's hitting. Okay, I believe him. I probably would have made the other play, just the down and play 8-6, uh, to six, but clearly there's a lot of upside here. Doesn't get to make the more advanced anchor this way. 5-1, though. An ace can help. It does. And here we would just slot the two point, I think. Everything else seems pretty destructive. Funny enough, they have the American flag there for Ryan. He didn't know he was from the USA until today. The entire time he thought he was from Canada. I've been told he keeps swearing in French, but I, uh, as an American, I don't know what French sounds like. I believe you. <laughs> Was he really? <laughs> Double twos. That's an amazing roll. And the last one, I'd probably just make the two points. Yeah, the advanced anchor is like critical. I'd probably just go from four to two with the last one, right? Uh, not trying to leave a shot anywhere else, I don't think. Four, four. Doesn't go that far. Could bring both in and just do this, yeah? Bring the other one in as well. Seems like the only legitimate play. Everything else looks illegitimate. A six would be nice here. Double fives though, okay. This is like an improvement. Um, Probably come out and down. I like coming down. You don't want to have your position like be stripped with like points on the outside like this because your next rolls end up being brittle. So I think keeping the contact like this seems okay. Give yourself spares to play with on the eight point. Six, four. Maybe you can just come down due to the two blots in the home board. Going to the one feels a little funny to me. But if Ryan played it, it's probably okay. Ogreland's looking for a six now. Counting the race to see if he's up if he rolls the six. But I think if he does roll a six, Ryan still has a take, so I would wait. Uh, three, two. Make the... Oh, I would, I would make the one point, actually put the three and then just play the two in. I wouldn't want to have all these blots in my board as Ryan's probably going to attack me because if I hit him back and then he hits me back and I have three blots in my board, I think I die. To hit or not to hit? This is the question. I don't know the race. Or two fans. The flag has been fixed. Ryan is officially from Canada once again. An ace is imperative here for Ray. Two, three. Not as good. 5-3, okay, he doesn't get to cover yet. He just brings it in. 
Hoping to roll a six or a five next time and be missed today. Oh, two, four. Four, three. That misses. Oh, it makes the six prime, though. So even if he rolls the ace, he's still dead. Now he rolls the one. Too little, too late. I mean, what are you going to do? You have no, like, prime value on the other side of the, the picture here. There's no way to really counter any of his rolls. I mean, what's going to happen? He has to enter with double fours and then roll double fours again. It's the only, it's the only way. Double fives. Oh, that's a great number to try to escape these gammons. Brings a lot of checkers around the board and saves a lot of pips. Ryan's going to hit loose on the one if he can. He cannot. Maybe you should just stay back, though, just in case he rolls something silly that leaves a shot. This does not leave a shot. It should just go to the three point, I think. Oh, maybe two crossovers is better. For saving gammons later on. Right, I, I don't even think Ray wants to roll an ace here because he might roll like one four, one five, and leave another shot, which would increase the number of gammons he loses. Five two just covers the one point. This might be another quick one, depending on how things go here. Three one just rips the checker off. Four two, I would probably rip it off as well. Maybe I'm being a little aggressive though. There aren't many gammons. I was trying to squeeze them out of there, just how its position looks, but... Maybe I'm being a bit overzealous. 5-3. 6-4, so he's in. Okay, he's off the gammon. Now he's just trying to win if possible. Seems unlikely, though. He's going to need quite a few big doubles in order to get this around. 4-3 is not good. Below average. 6-4. 3-1. All right. Double ones takes three off. I don't think there's any chance here. But instead of being a mathematician, you might as well just roll, right? But Ryan thought he could never miss. 6-2. Got a little break here from Ray. I don't blame him. If I were Ray, I would go get my Ryan Rebello voodoo doll and start sticking pins in it to try to get the dice to turn, you know? But we saw a comeback like this, uh, what was it, yesterday? Where they were down 6 nothing Crawford, and then they came back to beat Ryan, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had a match like this in um, New York where I was down 6 nothing, And came back. In a doubles match, we changed the shooters. My, uh, my rolling arm was strong that day. Yeah, yeah, of course. Why not? Our, our... Yes, Ryan doubling that position was a mistake. I mean, it's like a massive pass for money. 
Um, but at the score, apparently, not good enough. I think most of the value from the position comes from, like, Gammon's one. And so it allows um, maybe a few many, like, two turnarounds. Like, the turnarounds can happen more in these gammon spots where you don't have necessarily a ton of winning chances. Albert took that really, really well. All right, we're back at it. One away, seven away Crawford. So we can't offer a cube in this match at all right now, not until this game is over. The leader gets a uh, essentially a, a chance to win the match undoubled in this game. 4-1, okay. Probably just do the normal play. I'm just playing 13-9, 24-23, but I could see that like 13-9-25. Wow. Okay. Okay, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan must have done like very nice things for puppies, women, and children in a previous life in order to get rolls like this. His opponent fans, double twos. Ray's laughing. It's the only way to keep from crying, in my opinion. It's the only... <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> All right. 2-1. Yikes. So, I mean, we should just hit, probably. Uh, I think for money, like, if I had already accepted a cube, I would probably just step up with the ace. Maybe it's still the best play to win, actually, to not hit and just play... 24 23 but this seems okay i mean it's going okay so far if he doesn't roll a two or a four he does though and i would just continue running but maybe this is okay to hit on the one if that's his game plan it probably should be uh, okay if he wants to let him roll an ace that's fine maybe at the score it's okay Probably thinking he doesn't have the time or the desire necessarily to play this ace-deuce game. Didn't want to break the six to hit him. I think for money I would have. Just hit him on the ace with the six and then just made the anchor, but... That's because I can win a gammon. And here, Ryan can't. Two fours a hitter. Okay, if Ryan fans, there could be some trouble. But Ryan doesn't fan. He enters and uh, makes the point, of course. <laughs> Feel free to roll bad sometime, Ryan, okay? How are you going to get players to play with you? Okay, you could just switch, or you could do this. I would probably do this. I'd probably just hit loose. I mean, you need to make the points. The gammon really doesn't matter. You hope he just enters poorly. Probably just hit loose. 3-2, though. Okay, Ryan rolled a bad number for once, but like he's still at a dominating position. Five, four, probably just two down. Hope he doesn't roll a five and just uh, try to make it. Of course he rolls a five though. You don't win tournaments by not rolling a five. Three, three fans. 6-4, okay. 4 down, 6 in. 
Seems like a good flexible play to try to bring this home. Double six, okay. Five two. Thinking about trying to break the seven. I just don't see a nice way of doing it. This looks prettier. Four two gets to break the seven point now. Ryan is dominating. Dominating shape. Two six, of course, from the bar. I mean, but it doesn't hit anybody, so. He kind of wants to hop out, but like. He's concerned about some of the aces, of course, but I'd probably just do it anyway. I mean, there are no gamins here. Funny enough, he couldn't have hit you with 6-1 anyway. 5-2. 6-4 leaves a shot. He's raising his hands, but he hasn't hit it yet. Uh, <laughs> getting the shot is one thing. Hitting the shot is something else. That does not do it. Double fours will leave it there, though. 3-1, though. Maybe just the, uh... okay, he's just playing safe. This makes sense. With no gammons to be won, he just wants to clear the points in order and bring everybody home. Two one clears the point, it's a great number. So now Ryan only leaves shots with sixes, fives and fours possible double twos is a bad number he doesn't want to roll another two five two four two i guess three two six two is bad is three two gets to clear the other point five one okay i would move the ace there to try to cover on the three and the five i would probably just go to the 13 point it aims at like the eight, which is nice. Double fours leaves a shot. Okay. Ryan only has six guys off. If there's any luck, he will roll a two and we'll get a few more games out of this. Okay. If it wasn't for bad luck, you'd have none at all. So just cover. And then the four, I would just come off of the 23 point now. 4-2. There's another shot. Ray, you're allowed to hit shots in this game. No one's stopping you. The dice are stopping you. You have to stay on the 23 just in case uh, Ryan rolls an ace. And another ace. He'll have to stay there. But he will get four more checkers off, which would give him nine off, which would make it even more difficult for him to win post-hitting. I would just slot the eight. And bring the other two down. Get you the closest to making a six prime. Double ones or Ryan wins. Six five, okay. Well, there you go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, folks. It is a dice game. Yeah. Yeah, definitely uh, outrolled there. Nothing you can do about that, though. He just hopes to have played better in the final PR. Uh, we do not have the XG feed for this right now because they are rolling out positions on the computer that's used for the XG feed. Um, what do you mean? You just played the match. What do you mean what happened? You know what happened. You rolled out of your ass. It happens. That was a no double, yeah. Uh, like 7%? Yeah, 0 0.07, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't really like, I wasn't really cognizant of the score at the time when you gave, gave the cube and I was like- That's like, it's like an obvious pass for It's like a major pass for money, but I guess you're leading, but what? I was like, oh, too good. Could be too good. I don't know. Absolutely nothing. 
And I had everything. And you had a lot. And you had a lot. Still a no double, but yeah, I mean, I'm not sure how the PR went. Obviously, it hasn't been transcribed, but there's somebody at home doing it, I think, somewhere else. So we'll see you later. You have what? Oh, okay, for this match already? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about those. <laughs> There's a huge no double take at 5087. Oh, just that one position? Yeah. Okay, cool.
145 matches done.
querida, no sé cómo sacar esta espina, la tengo adentro y no tiene salida. en mi lugar porque te quiero mucho más que a las demás desde que entraste en mi vida la noche se hace día y no sé quién soy porque lastimas a este pobre corazón no me dejes que me muero sin tu amor desde que entraste en mi vida la noche se hace día y no sé quién soy. Oh, 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 oh. Tú nunca mereciste este amor. Por tu culpa estoy sufriendo. ¿Qué haré hoy? ¿Qué haré mañana? Ya no me hables que no te quiero escuchar No me marques te bloqueé en mi celular Desde que entraste en mi vida La noche se hace día y no sé quién soy Desde que entraste en mi vida La noche se hace día no sé quién
Bears with? I think I'm playing Dana. Avi Cohen. Petco. Round seven. Group B. Last match of the group stage. Last match of the group stage. I think Petco's still in the running to make the final four, right? This is probably why this one is on the stream right now. It's important for him to win the match and the PR point here in order to make it to the next round, I think. I don't know the bracket. Have you seen the bracket and like point totals for players? No, is it there? No, I have no idea. I don't think so. I don't even know. I think I'm waiting all day to see what the thing is. It's yeah. Right well, it is what it is. <laughs> and apparently, they're still rolling out matches on the computer, so we missed the live yeah. transcript. It's too long. Is plus plus good enough? I thought that's all they were doing was plus plus. Fire. Why? They have to extensively roll out every single game. That's why it's taking so goddamn long. But some of the some of them aren't close. The matches. Plus no, I know. Be fine for most of them, and then you go to a higher analysis if it's within a particular margin, maybe. But I mean, if it's that slow, and Terra's computer is like the fastest PC I've ever seen. It's also annoying because the extensive rollout raises PR score. Like single plus does. It does. Who cares? Because it does it for your opponent as well, so it doesn't matter. Facts and a half. Still waiting to see what it did against Dana. Oh, you haven't seen that? No, Why I haven't seen the error rate yet. Was it recorded? Yeah. You didn't transcribe it? In your, I know. Like, five-minute transcription I know. style? I know. I don't know how you transcribe so fast. I play it at two times speed. Oh, I'd miss rolls. Well, you just go back. If you when I transcribe, it. I transcribe at half speed. You fucking <laughs> slow <laughs> All right, is, does this match mean anything at all? I think so. All we're missing is a Petco. One penalty point. Oh, that would be big. That would be a, a blunder. What happened? No, he had a penalty point, right? Oh, yeah, no kidding. I, I know I was like half an hour late for my match against Ray. I think I happened. Yeah, Ray was ple no, not pleased. Was he? And then to be skunked. Yeah, sorry, Ray. Feel bad for Ray. He's a nice guy. You weren't even doing anything. You were probably just talking about another backgammon position in another room. You probably weren't even doing anything. That's exactly what I was doing. Yeah, of course. What else would you be doing? <laughs> what else would you be doing, you know? Thank you. Listen, I only get this much backgammon exposure when I'm at these tournaments, and I'm trying to make the most of it, you know? Do what you can, you know? Yeah, so I'm going to go get some barbecue for dinner tonight. It's also a brewery, but if you're playing in the, the finals, I'm not going to let you drink anything until it's over. There's no finals tonight. Finals is tomorrow morning. That's what I mean. Not until the whole tournament thing is all over. All right, all right, all right. I want you to be sharp on your A game. I got you. <laughs> all right, and here comes a pet cow. A pet god? <laughs> Avi has his uh, charm on the thing. Wonder, to, wonder how Avi's doing in this Trying thing. to turn the, the luck on his side, I think. Don't blame him. Need a bunch of good dice in order to win these things. Six one, we're starting. We are on six two, of course. These are all like standard opening plays, double threes. Okay, this is interesting. You make just the five and the three point here. Questionable. I think it's the best play. I think it gets you closest to the cube. I don't know. What about just anchor and three point? Ah. I don't think so. I would just do this and then the three. All right, I can see it. I think it puts it a make lot a 21 of pressure. Point. With 21 points, it's worth something. I think this just puts a lot of pressure on the back guy. It's what not you, like you, you're worried about being no, uh, Peko's, attacked Peko's or primed or anything. You. Peko knows how to play. He's a good guy. Yeah, yeah, he's 6-2, play safe. 
And then was this a cube? I don't think so. Somebody asked me if I'm going to be at the San Antonio card house on Friday. <laughs> um, I'd love to be. I don't know when the streaming ends. I had a great time when I was there on, uh, on Tuesday playing. Probably the most fun I've had playing poker in years playing in Texas. Love the action. Oh, I don't here. like this play at all. It just lets them get more volatility in the position. You should have just played safe. Just play to the eight? Yeah. I don't know. I like this play. You hitting now off the ace and splitting? I think you have to. Maybe you're that's why the other play's better. <laughs> you can't come down and just give him all that tempo. He no, you can't let him hit. build. This is good. So this is probably why you think it was wrong to um I, yeah, that's to why. leave the blots that's out why. there that's because why. of the hit and split options, right? Now you're, you're, you're bored with an ace, you're hit dead. Out seed. Two, Two five, five is terrible like, number. It's probably a double now. Small one. It's definitely a take. Just play to the six? Yeah, probably. I wouldn't hit on the ace. It no, just no, seems no, a bit so desperate. And plus, it still leaves all the blots out there. So you might as well pick up one of them. Okay, so this is clearly a cube now. Yeah. There's four blots. You have three point, four point board. Well, three point and a seven point. And a slot on the ace point, which is okay here. You have a ton of threads. It's got to be a cube. I think if you wait long, maybe people think, I'm not sure if it's a cube. That way you can trick people into passing. Doing something. Or, yeah, I got you. One way or the other. Did we play the other day over at the San Antonio Card House, Adam and Misty Rodriguez? <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to be back there. Is that where you want all your money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was nice. a great time. And that's where I plan on losing it back as well, you know? <laughs> the cards giveth and then they taketh away, so. Facts. Yeah, nice cube. cube. Nice cube. You're just going to scoop it up. Very scoopish. Scoopable. He scooped it. Double fours, okay. Covers an ace. Yeah, you just make the ace point, of course. You can try something fancy like switching, but that just you have nothing left. Yeah, this is great. I it's mean, kind of don't... annoying to let him clean up without with this full roll, but what are you going to do? Ah, we did play. 6-5, nice roll. But 6-4 is more complicated. A lot of the people at the card house actually played backgammon. Really? I told them about the tournament. I was like, you should just come on down. We're over at the Gunter Hotel here, across the street from the Majestic Theater. Okay, so 6-4. Feel free to stop on by. We'll be here all week long. Are you just getting out of there? 6-4? Yeah. For who? For, for another Am orange. I running? No way. Just making a seven. Running kind of has merit. Oh, goodness. I, mean, I would think I would end up making seven point, but it's definitely not an easy decision. You could make the one. No, that's definitely, that's definitely <laughs> worse than the seven point. I think it might be right to run. Just you give him a six, fade the six, and you're home free. Oh, oh making a seven is, is you leave seven. him a double shot, right? Now what? Is he gonna pick it up? Let me just toss this in. I know we don't have our 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 live uh our live transcription as normal. I know Ryan's got the faster fingers. Just ask. Uh, I don't have I don't have XG I, mobile I on the phone. What what happened? Oh, you don't have a. Uh, with all your winnings, you didn't uh, get yourself an iPhone. No, I don't need an iPhone. iPhones suck. It says the person who can't get XG oh, mobile. Oh, it did, on it, did, it, did it this way. That was a cool way. Level fours is not good. You have to switch now because you need to keep that midpoint there. No, you don't need to. You just come down to. Or this. The problem with this play is it stacks two guys in the three point. It's kind of ugly. 3 1. I guess you just clean up now. You can't make a five and leave a direct five shot. So it's got to be right to just play safe. Making the seven is better. Making seven is the best play? Mm hmm. Cool. I can believe it. I like this. Well, what? It's either this or make the five or the ten. Yeah, there? but you can't. You can't leave that. You can't leave a direct shot when you have a four-point board like that. Because I don't think you can. It's a bit too expensive, I think. Right? All you have to do is get not hit with a seven. Here, there's just so many hitters. You get sevens you get hit and all fives, and you get a gamut a lot of the time when you get Plus hit. Plus two, three, and four, one, and all of these are like big problems, especially with the checker on the ace point. 
This play is probably better than the five point. But I still think seventeen thirteen is the best idea. The thing is if you just get hit there, you just get gammon most yeah, of the I time. Know. I know, it's a problem. And I, I, the only problem I hate with this is that like sometimes they just still roll a seven and I just get gammoned anyway. Or but... two. Now you just got to bring two down. Mm -hmm. Okay, double ones, nice roll. Double ones is a fantastic number. We get to do this and this. Now it's like an even game again, almost. Almost slot the four. Just hoping for a good number to run off the anchor soon. How's that seven point maker? Uh, is this right to leave the shot here? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Because there's a blotting board. It's not a direct shot. I know, but still, it feels kind of funny. Probably better to make the two point, maybe? No. I don't know. I don't know where those checkers on the three are going. Oh, it's four points still trumps. Nice roll. Wow. Didn't think Avi would get a game like this out okay. of that, huh? Jokering his way to victory. I thought it would be gammoned already. Four three to play safe. Uh, he rolls five six. I guess he kind of has to run anyway. Five six is a good Ooh. number. Yeah, it's a great number. Can't leave more shots. No, just two down. Looks like it. Only leaves five two. Or 13-6. I'd like two down better. Just because it keeps the spare on the eight point. Yeah, sure. I feel that. Just in case he chooses to run. Oh, 5 two. Oh, no, he sniped him? Hit him with the thing. Wow. Now a two, and he has a chance here. He does roll the two, a two and a five. Whoa, he's coming he's... out, but you should probably cover. Mm, that's questionable. Ooh. That's This is a tricky one. I. Well, the two is If you miss with the ace, you're good, right? I think this is the best play, ah, actually. But the gamut is on now. Yeah, but gamut will be gone anyway. Yeah, but then he's hitting you loose again in the board. Maybe you just hit back again. But if you're missed, you're out, right? But he could just fan as well, you know? And then you could uh, just blitz the four as well, you know? Four, three hits. Now I probably end up covering, to be honest. Let's put that one in. That was tricky. Run, run, make him roll an ace from space. He doesn't roll an ace from space. He's in 5 3 right? just comes out. Fantastic number. As long as he can get that back checker out with a 6 or a 5 1, everything seems to be going smoothly. Level 5s would be like a terrible number. 2 nice 1 roll. just gets to make the point. Double five is still bad. No six there. Double twos. He still okay. has some chances, you know. He just needs a six. And uh, you're not favored to roll it. Nah, it's not the six you wanted. That's the wrong six. So you play to the ace, maybe. Keep a five point board for longer. I'm like three one and two one and all this. Or three one plays anyway. Yeah, I guess it's just three one. Not three one, you have to break. You gain on 3-1, so I, I like your play, but... What else is there? Alright, he chooses to go for that. It can't be it can't be a big mistake either way. It's no 6. Wow. Uh-oh. And uh, this he's right back the other in play it. was better. No kidding. <laughs> Not by much. 6-4 makes the game fun. 4-2, four, four, two. Two. okay. He needs a 6 really badly now. He does Ooh, roll wow. boxes. One, two, what three, four. He hits, though. He has to hit. Yeah, and he takes off. Yes, but there's a shot. Well, it's still a joker in half. And he's four, and he's right back in it. Is he going to roll it, though? Nope. No, six, one. But he still has a chance. Yeah, he six, can roll five. six, five, six, four, five, four. Six, three. Six, three leaves a shot. Okay, last chance. Probably. This would be interesting if he hits... He wants it. He does not get uh, it. Okay, and the ace comes into the six point. And what are his chances of getting off of this gammon? Yeah. Slim. Very slim. It's 
So this is just one of the pre-tournaments. How many other tournaments are going on? We have uh, no idea. Super jackpot for like fifteen hundred, I think, right? And then Masters events, and the main event starts on Friday. Yeah, I think so. All right, is it over yet? No, I can still save it. I mean, it's possible, but I'd bet against it. Not looking good though. Play the six down, and then I'd probably just go to like the thirteen. How about ten eight? Yeah, I mean it's one of the two. Thirteen is kind of a bad place to put it though. I think ten eight trumps that. Maybe even there because double fours and is now the best. I'm not sure. Seems fine. Ask the why is there no XG feed? That's a really good question. I have no idea. I know why. Why? I told you. They're using the computer for the rollouts. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they have all night to do that. No. Yeah, this is the best way to use double four, so I guess this is probably okay. And then two one is fine. And you can't save it without rolling a double. Two six. You just come in and then roll. Hold on, now double uh, four. Yeah, you, nah, you don't get double four this way. That's the problem. You would have gotten double fours if, if you played twelve and then four. Put a checker on the four. Double fours would be doesn't funny. Matter. He doesn't roll it. Thank you. I was playing a guy in New York heads up for two hundred dollars a point one time yeah. at the New York tournament a few years ago. I think I'm up a hundred points. And uh, Mochi's watching the game, and I'm getting gammons. I don't really care that much because I'm up still like I don't know probably like one hundred and ten points after uh, the game, and. I I missed that I could get off with double fives and double sixes. And Mochi goes, you know, you missed uh, you missed the chance to get off with double. I didn't roll it. But even then, up 100 and something points, Mochi's just <laughs> like, Mochi. Mochi's just like, you know, in this one spot here, <laughs> I'm just like, man, I don't care. Get to the next game. But I mean, I do care. I remember it. I mean, I I don't want to make the mistake, but um, uh, I was just like, one, you know, I'm like, damn, man. Right, where's your six? He never takes a roll off. You One know? and five, I guess. Yeah, I know, Mochi. He's always, never he's takes always a roll off. In. Mochi's the last guy you want to play for money. Put it that way. I've played him in Chouettes before, but heads up doesn't sound no, like no, fun no, to me. You know? Heads up, Mochi, is uh, not what you want to do. It does not sound like fun to me. <laughs> I played this him six. and that's a, that's a weird six in uh, Chouettes. Why do you want to put in a deuce point? At least you put it on the five. If you're missed, you have a big upside. Uh, now you're just getting punished. It's like the nuts. Just hits two and makes the five. And here and there. We're not close to the cube at the score, of course. As we know from your other match. I thought you would drop it, to be honest. <laughs> As we know from your it last match. It wasn't even that bad. How bad was it? Like a hundred. You're just making that up right now? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. Four and a one comes in. You just lift it to the six, yeah? yeah. There's no point in anchoring. Yeah. You just don't want to get hit there. What are you gonna do? Make an anchor and leave a triple shot? Anchor is just not is not really necessary here. Yeah, he only has, would be bad. Yeah, heading hit would be very bad. Let them come out with the tempo. Don't need a seven. So yeah, this is a natural idea. The threats aren't strong on the other side of the board either. Three two. Oh. Good anchor. Yeah. Good anchor. Five two hits. Not sure. Was was anchoring necessary? Could we have just come up with the three and made the eleven? No, I need the anchor. No, that really isn't much material there. It's worth thinking about. I mean, it's a triple shot. It's a triple shot. Tons of numbers hit on the outside as well. Yeah, okay, I got you. Okay, two four. Just makes a nine point maybe. Don't four point. Make the four? At least a double shot. It does. I don't know. It's I guess I to. guess yeah, it is. I agree. Not that bad. 
Especially at the score, I'd probably better make a four. Okay. Five two is a hitter. And four six. Four six fan. fan. He's okay. still far from a Q. Still have nothing. No. Got five guys back. Your opponent only has three. Five four makes the eighteen, maybe. Yeah, I think that's a good upgrade actually, coming out here. Incremental improvements. And to be three missed. two comes to the twenty. If he makes it, he makes it. If you he don't really have the twenty. Hey, what's your better two? Thirteen eleven maybe. So you want to get hit there instead of the inside. What if he just rolls something crappy like a five one? No, I see your point. If he rolls five one, you're not like devastated anyway. You know, that's true. Everything is fine. That's true. I just see like a big stack of checkers nah. there that I wouldn't mind developing. I don't know the cost of getting hit from with a four. Maybe I'm only upset after like six one, but six one it makes the five anyway, you know. So what are you giving five two as an extra? I guess you keep your rolls if you makes a five anyway. Mm -hmm. I could see this. Although I just play up to twenty. I don't know. Twenty seems like a score thing. We don't want to create too much complication when you're up four nothing. You know, you don't get hit with some force. I don't know. I'd, I'd probably play 13-11, but... So it, can't be that. it can't be a big mistake either way. It's not one of the positions where blunders can happen. Petco agrees with you, though. Looks like it. So you're in good company. At God. What is that, 4-3? Four, 4-3. Three. Four, three. Well, he's going to hit somewhere. Although he can make an 8 and play behind. Because the 4 is funny afterwards, yeah? What about just playing, making an eight and then playing behind? Is that too playing passive? Behind? You could make the eight and just come off of the eighteen. That seems kind of <laughs> crazy. Okay, if I can hammer everyone's attendance, please. I'm about to do the draw for the first card of the Alligators Longhorn Classic Master event. Nice. Right now, I have uh, thirty-five players who are. What are you putting in? This play seems fine as well. Just going for the hit. He gets hit back, of course. What are you putting in? 3 2. Bar 20 is correct. 13 11 is a small error. 4 3. And then 4 3 was the roll, right? Yeah. I don't mind this hit, actually. Yep. What was the best play hit? Right? Eight and six to two. That was the best play? Yep. Six two. It's it's harder to commentate without the XG feed right there. But six two can run all the way. I don't think you need to hit because you're just breaking your midpoint, which is very valuable in this position. And now we get an interesting game. So two one. You need the eighteen point actually, so you can come out and then just play six to five. Is anything better than that? It's hard for me. I gotta yeah, close I got the door, maybe. He's gonna try this, which duplicates threes. Uh, five one can come out. Yeah, just that's what you gotta do. Just control the outfield. Try to f f play for mobility. Yeah, this play it's, it's kind of stacky, stacky. I better just come out. No, this is definitely wrong. You need your purity in this position. Uh, the playing the DAs, it just doesn't accomplish too much, and you're already behind for nothing, so there's no really fear of losing Gammon. So you can just come out from a 22, I think. You get hit with a six, so what? Sometimes he rolls bad, like a, I don't know, I can't even imagine it. But sometimes he rolls bad, and you get you get some chances to make maybe a 10 point, or just come make an 11, or even sometimes like you rook could roll like double fives and just make the point. On the outside. And he has a five to play from here? Yeah. Well, then you just come out, right? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I mean, you just don't want to do anything destructive to your position. So if you have spares to play with, just play the spares. 3-1 you know? is a hitter. Keep your structure. Just call it a day. And then 3-3. Three, three three. Is that hits and covers. Good. That's a joker. You're well, not going to break your points. So you just hit and then play to the seven, which is what I guess you would do. Fun. 
this better? I think so. I don't think I want to come out. You could make the point, though. You can make the point. That, 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 that's a reasonable alternative. 2-2. Two, two. This is also like a... Hit that makes a 9 point. It's a nice roll. And makes 13 to 9, covering up the 9 point. Okay, 3-2. Now that's not a good roll. You have to just come in on the 22 and play 6-4, I think. Uh, you can also try coming out, maybe. Coming out seems reasonable, actually. It does. This just feels funny, because you're going to have to move off of these points anyway. So it seems reasonable to start doing it now, because if you read the timing over the board, you're going to have to do it soon anyway. Yeah. Okay, now you want something like 4-1. That that's that's, uh, just plays there. Way. Just comes up. Now 6 is going to escape. 6-3 swings around. Nothing really better than that. Yeah, you don't play something like 6-3 here, because then you're just going to have more problems getting home. Yeah, I, I don't see this play. I don't know what you gain from this versus the other play. He want he wants to he wants to stay there, so he's forced to break his midpoint on the hit instead of using a spare checker from the eighteen. That's his that's his thought process of staying there. But I just don't think it makes enough sense to play a barrier checker. No, this this is a huge blunder right now. You don't want you need your fives blocked. Leaving. Okay, he's gonna go for this. At least this is better than breaking the nine. He does not get hit, but gets to liberate a guy from the 21 point. And he's still far from a cube. Uh, six, three, can just play to the five. That's okay. Six, five, no. That's not a good roll. It's like virtually forced unless you want to come off of the 21. Mm, I wish I don't want to do, so he's going to do this. Okay, 4-1 comes with the 8. Now he has 6-4, which can go 18-8 now. He's still never coming out of 21 point, too far behind in the race. Yes. Now, if he rolls a 1, he might not even want to hit unless he rolls like a 1 2. 1 4 is what I mean. I guess you just have to hit and go because it's a good opportunity to break. You don't really have anything better than that. I don't, I don't know what else you would play. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh, it's 4 2? What? No, it's what 4 was that? 1. What the hell? What, that was a weird play. It's 4 1. Okay, yeah, you, you, you played 4 2, though. He's like, you missed you that you could hit me. Should we run back and put it out for him? That was See, there. That it. Was there you go. Okay, yep. we're good. Yeah, you just have to hit, because there's simply nothing better than that. And if you're missed, you you just break the 18 point. It's simply the best. You know? Better than all <laughs> the rest. Oh, wow. If Ike Turner was playing this number... He would definitely hit. Oh, Abe would hit too. What did Abe hit again? It's just a joke about. Who's like Turner? <laughs> <laughs> we were just singing a Tina Turner song, yeah. Ike Turner. Ike Turner was the husband. Oh, all right. Six five. This is an interesting rule. How do you play this one? Cover and out, or cover and there. This is better. This is a good play. I like this play. 5-3. He gets to cover and go forward. And you see the problem with not hitting there because now he's stuck, kind of. Would he have gotten away with it? He would have fanned. Oh, 6-1 is... That's, uh, God, this is like the worst number. That's a huge mistake. This is like... Uh, <laughs> looks cocked, right? So you, you need to, to reroll. You need to find duplication here. 
and there's no good twos, so you can't give him good twos. You just play four three because there's a duplication of threes to cover. So that's got to be the best idea. This roll is absolutely brutal. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's uh, not not a it's a blunder in itself. The roll that six two covers and hits. Nice roll. Yeah. Don't make a mistake of hitting twice, of course. Just make the two hit here, and you cross your fingers. And if he dances, it's like a two good. You're never gonna cube. Wants to make sure he didn't miss anything first. John O'Hagan is from Sweden. <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. Apparently on stream two. And what saves him here? Hey, Dan. One, One three, three is a nice roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. You gotta make the 18 because you can't leave a triple shot. Your, yeah, your big, checker oh, is very protected. It. I just don't think now, he saw it. Now it's like... I just don't think he saw it. I guess... I'm for sure he saw it. No, I don't think he saw it. This, this plays what kind of eight. role is this? He plays both of the A's and misses. Now he wants like a 5-3 to jump out. 3-1. Of course, you're not going to come. He's going to go there. I think the other two one was fives better. Hitter. The other one was better playing maybe four to three. Is it because less double shots? twos is blocked. I see that. So he actually gave so an now extra number. Now if he number. dances, what's the cube action? If you want to buy precision dice, you can find them on the AP backgammon huh. website. Is this the double out or is it too good? He's going to cube and it's definitely a pass even at the score. You just don't. Is he taking it? Oh, wow. Yowzer. That's uh that's not a take. Um four one makes a seven. He's you can't toss that. He's in. gonna do that. Okay, I don't mind this play. And now he feels rewarded for his take, but I mean this is so hard pressed to win. Two six can play there and then like that. It seems okay. 2-2, two, two, slots of 5. And it's still a pass from here. And this is like a, this is like a good rollout for Avi so far. So that just proves this. It's, it wasn't a take. If it wasn't a take, I'd be shocked. 6-2, um, you got to break it now. And then just come in. He has a bottom board. So you're not too too frightened of leaving the blot outside. 6-1 is a hitter, of course. And now any fan, it's just a double out. There it is, and he's just he's just won the game. Gets rewarded for a bad take. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, it's back in. What are you gonna do? You got it. Getting there. My um, memory's terrible. Yeah, let me do that. I got it. Uh, you're no good. You're no good. I'm going right here. All right, fish. Like I said, it's 500 pass for money. Let's just put this in four. And what was the score? Four One. Nine, no, four nothing. Four to nothing, and he was doubling. Wow! Can you take this? That's wild. Oh, he was back here on the uh, eighteen. One forty-eight pass. Ah, one forty-eight pass. He wins twenty percent of the time. It's not as bad as I thought it was. And uh, this was one of the twenty percent. And this is one of twenty percent. So you know, mm. Abby feels like a genius. Got ourselves a match now. Wow! Look at this roll. Get to step up as well, make the 23 point. And the cube, Wild. The cube is a flying. Yes, Ace, Ace Point Backgammon is one of the uh, supporters of the stream. So please, if you want Four, to get three, your precision dice, feel free to get them there. Is now they, are you, I can, If you're I'm, in the US, I'm, for I don't sure. think I want to take this to you. you. You do have some counter prime. Wow. It's probably a take for money. But at the score, at the score, at the I don't score, I, I I believe it's a drop. This one's more interesting than than that four nothing position. Touch, he touched it. Touch it means you got to take it. <laughs> All right, Ryan, you got the nimble fingers. Go ahead. Uh, I'll bet the pass. Nimble. Wait. 
Okay, so for money, this is like a huge take. Scoop. At the score. It's a, still a take, but it's it's very small. So that peck was right to be thinking about this. How many gammons do they lose? It's 67% wins and 21% gammon. Okay. So it's quite they, sizable. They win a lot, essentially. On the other side, 33% of the time. I guess they have two guys back. They're still getting fairly primed themselves. I mean... For money, it's pretty easy. Still not fun, though. But no, easy. But not, not fun. fun. It's not fun. Actually, it's, it is fun in money. Depends how the game goes. <laughs> that's true. One double three and that's it, right? Okie doke. Yeah, Pecos, this is a tricky one over to, to figure out over the board. The race is kind of close. So is there anything of... about the score, a three-way, five-way, that would uh, lead well, you the... one way towards the well, other? Well, a three-way, five-way makes it a, more of a pass. You already saw of that. Of course, yeah. But th that's, well, that's why I thought it would be a drop. He's going to pass it. Fair play. Are you playing poker? No. Just looking up barbecue for later. This is a double game for money. Cool. Don't need a reservation. And he's got 5 1. Five two is a splitter. Five two. Split seems reasonable here. I like a bad roll. Like bad that. Roll. We it's, can start thinking about the probably cube a cube now. already. Four away score, very efficient with the gammons. I think this is probably a double, small one. Yeah, I mean this would be a double pass at two away, four away for sure. Two away, three away, double take. I, be I score, believe Abby just missed a cube there. Three away, and now it's like a huge drop. Four away, certainly missed it. He's gonna play on two good. I guess that's what he's doing. Yeah, like so, you can hit and make the one. You can do that, or you can just switch and play seven, which seems better to me. Like this, and then slot the bar, and then step up, or just make the bar. Yeah. Probably step up with the other one, but. Five three, and now the cube comes, and now Petco hates life, because this is oh, it's not even cubing now. Does not I guess he does not does not understand this score. Just hits and makes the one. Yeah. Hits on the three point and makes the one. Now, if he anchors, he missed his opportunity to cube. And if yeah. he fans, he or this, I mean, I mean, this is still just a huge drop. He has nothing. What is he waiting for? Um, obviously, he just doesn't. Know I, I, I don't think he's playing on too good. The four away score. But, but it's like it became a double even for money. And it's okay now. Okay, so now we can see he was playing on too good. But now the position is like <laughs> now it's like a take. For blue I know it it's crazy. Before. Echo hates hates life. Cause it's like man, if you just kill me last roll, I had I an easy passed. draw. Yeah, now now I'm in this <laughs> spot. It's like really annoying. And I think it's still probably a pass. Oh, he takes it. Oof, that's tricky. Put that one in. Yeah, Pinkerton's is where I'm going probably. So if you guys want to murder me, that's where I'll be at like six thirty. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll I'll be there defending the bro. <laughs> Pickerton's is where I'll be, so, uh... 5-3, hits. Yep. Got a hit. No passive Peters around here. Yeah, it's the only play, really, right? Was that a take? I don't know. No, neither do I. Echo seemed quite sure it was. He took it pretty quickly. And 3-6 jumps out. It's a fantastic number. Hopes to be missed. Which he is. He nice. is missed. Okay. He gets to cover. He wants to roll a 3-something. 5-4 is not five, good. Four. But you have to come there because now you can get home next time. 
Now, four is a huge swing in the match. Double twos, three, one. Four is there. Four hits, of course. And just comes down. Yeah, I just come around, of course. And if he doesn't roll a five, he is in serious trouble. He but does if he get does a five, roll a five, of course. <laughs> without that, he would be uh, dead meat. Gammon's on the horizon. What's he going to do? Stay? <laughs> just get back with like a random two or three? I don't think so. He wants not that. That just plays safe. Three and then five this way. And hopes to win a race, which you're ahead in, I believe. Although it's close. Yeah, it's very close. Five, four, one swings around, of course. It's hit with eight, so two, six, and four, four, and double two. Five, three five, is the wrong three eight. Is the oh, wrong eight's on eight. reach for it. I know, I know. <laughs> Gets hit with some eights. And not Peko, all of Peko them. had a mini heart attack. <laughs> Three, two. You can't hit. No. So you can just play 11, 8, 6, 4. You don't even need an 11 point, really. Because the problem with the 11 point is you don't have a good 3 besides 4 to 1. I don't think this is right because now you can afford to just stay. I don't know what the race is, though. Like The is, race is, is close. Orange it, up? No, it's, it's, it's close. Orange is up, but it's very close. The problem with this is it makes it harder to attack, but it does add some defense if he tries to run out. Yeah, I don't like this play. But then you hit the guy, and then what? You got a blood on the one. one. Slots point comes in. What else are you going to do? Yep, but he doodle. That's the play. Okay, now he wants double five. Does not get it. 2-1. That's, That's like the terrible. worst. <laughs> but you cannot, you can never leave a direct shot. This is the only play. And everything else leaves a direct, so... Those eights are alive again, but don't roll 5-3. 2-1 one is okay. Makes def or is it a step up, maybe? I'll just make a 3 instead of a 5. This play doesn't make any sense. I'm wondering whether you, whether you should step up. I'd like staying back personally. Oh boy! But it's clearly better got, to uh, step, step up, up now. <laughs> it's clearly better to have stepped up. If he was head in the race, he should have definitely stepped up. I'm not sure exactly what it was. I didn't know what the race was. Three, two, okay. So and now it's a cube. Now it's a big cover. time cube for blue. And that depending on if he's in close case. in the race, it's a take. If it's anything more than like eight pips, it'll just be a big pass. So if he doubles, this is for the match. But if he passes, what's oh, it's a recube. Sorry, yeah, it's a recube. Sorry, He's sorry, sorry. So he needs about needs to be about eighty-one percent favored in order to send. Go to the seven and then probably just for two to one. Two to one because sixes can cover now from the eight. Yeah, the recube makes a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a huge difference. Because then he has to play for the match, and if the guy passes, it's gonna be what one away, four away. So what would it take? It's about eighteen and a half percent. Eighteen and a half percent, yeah. Somewhere 19. around there. I think I generally think nineteen, but it's probably you're probably right with the half percent. I just rounded. It. <laughs> okay, five two kittens hits and covers. Are you? Sh no, I'm not sure. Sure, you want to? I mean, I can see, I can see that it does it. Leaves it leaves numbers, but yeah. it only leaves five three. Okay. Let's see. So he's ahead three. I think it's sixty-six hard. after the the roll for for blue. Okay, and Brack has fourteen, seventy-eight, sixty-six, seventy-eight after the roll. All right. So in that case, you cannot pick and pass. This is just a play. Pinkertons is actually catering the Super Bowl party here. God damn. He does play safe. Good play. 5-6 oh, six, six, after ride. You should go. So it was 66, 78. Six, so now it's only... It's only... A what? And then there's gaps on like the a, five. It's a one-pip lead. So 3-1, you should actually just cover both gaps right now. Play 6-5, six, 6-3. Six, I think. Are you sure you just do this? I like or this one do this better. Too. Yeah, because the threes too. play to fill into the gap that later. Makes sense too. Mochi had like a. No. Oh, wow. look at this. Mochi had a lecture on these in New York two years ago. On one, these filling the gap things. 
Yeah, I'm like just bearing in, in no contact positions. This is really annoying. This is like guys. a bad, bad structure. This is the worst I've seen in a while. Avi is uh, in a commanding position here, playing 4-2 to two now. Okay, 6-5. Petco is going to need some there. help. That's a nice stack on the 4 point. It's good if you roll double 4s. Oh, it's great if you roll double 4s. Better if you roll double 6. Facts. Ooh. That's not bad, actually. The roll came out of the cup very un... Like, it lacked confidence, you know? Did you feel that? It he's, felt like it lacked scared. confidence, that roll. He needs a couple sets. 5-3, uh -oh. the absolute worst. That's no gonna, men off. Not gonna do it. Double ones. Nice roll. No, actually, it's not that good. That's okay. Yeah, of course you do that. One, fill in two. The, one, two off. Fill in the gap. Fill in the gap. He's just making sure he couldn't take a third one off. That's all. I got you. I got you. This play. Is he trying to win a backgammon? <laughs> 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 If I was in this spot losing and my opponent was taking this amount of time on this double once, I know. It's I like, would, come I would, on, bro. I would, I would be steamed. Oh, he did this weird play. Watch him lose now. Double six, two one. Double six, two one. Six. Double six, two one. Okay, never mind. Pretty well, Jin, now. No, double six, two one. Ugh. Six one. Not gonna do it. Nope. Three two. Okay. Two and then three. Okay, it's done. He All should, right, now he, he takes should, the he, lead. He should force uh, Petko to play because he can get a decision on the ace. So two away, three away coming up. Wow, we're going to have very, very early cubes and gamma-ish positions from the trailer in the match. 5-4. Nice score. I double very, very quickly. I smell gammons. I cube. Okay, 5-1. Nothing yet. Six five Six, goes all five the way. Runs, okay. Nothing gammonish happening yet. Orange wants to secure an advanced anchor. This will do though. Four one. Thirteen to eight. Yes. Yeah, you don't need to fix, you don't need to hit twice here because you're not stopping anything. Really. No need to be desperate. Two one makes advanced anchor an time, anchor. I think. Yeah, I think it does think too. At the score, it's a big, it's a big thing. Making the anchor at the score, it stops a lot of the nonsense. Double fours, it makes a nine and a four. I think. I think that's better than two points. First, then the other, and then the guy wishes he made the anchor if he doesn't roll a two or something now. Which he does Five, not. Five three, he wishes he no, made it. No, it's a cube. Five three. Yeah. I don't. Really I don't think. Good. I think it's still too early. One man back versus two men back. Eleven checkers in the zone. He has better priming structure, though. Don't want to miss your market, though. That would be a sin. I believe it's a it's a like a half roll too early, but I can see it being like you. I mean, the, the problem didn't is have the seven made. Of the course. problem is the huge, the huge stack on the five point that makes it difficult, and you're still primed back there, and it's, he's just sending him a cube that can win him the match. So if you don't, if you don't roll well, like even three one, which is usually a good roll, has to leave a shot now. No double. It's easy take. How much of a no double is it? It is a no double by seven percent. Do you roll? Yes, he's gonna roll. Good play. Not enough wins yet. 5-2 five, two. Five, two should go for the blitz, though. Robot just stepping up. I don't know. You think this in 6-4? to four S Or stepping up, You have really? to step up. That's tricky. I I think that's, this is a better... Uh-oh. Oh, they're all close. This okay. play is correct, though. 1-2 makes an 8. Thought maybe the score might make me lean towards one versus one, the other. Now what do you do? Oh, if I step up, the guy just rolls. I I'm think dead. Yeah, I think you have to hit. I think the hit is like the tempo stopper. You just have to get lucky here. If you just let the guy roll, you're probably going to lose. So at least this gives him some awkward numbers. Like, that's pretty Five good. 5-4 is a great shake. 
needs to three, five, three, six to five, try to get out of there. Is not six, good. five is terrible. Doesn't do anything. Two, one, four, one, four, two are great shakes here. Six, six one, one slots. Probably just has to slot the point. Slots, and if he misses, you can think about a cube, actually. A, solves a lot of problems if you get away with this. Yeah, slotting makes a lot of sense. And you can't just go six to five, because that makes you feel weird. And this is not uh, this is not a problem solver, actually. Four, six can cover the two point. Okay, let's see what Abby's got. He's got a 4-2. That's nice. That is very nice. If he did the slotting play, he'd have like a 6 prime right now. Is though. this a cube? He's going to send it. And Petko needs 25%. We know this. I don't know if he has it. Does I, don't he? Know if, I don't know if he has it either. He has some... Oh, wow. So six five runs off. Six four can make the ace if you want. I think I think it's a pass. Six three, six two, six one. I don't think. I mean, it's it's it's, it's this is definitely tricky, but Pekko passes, and I, I agree with him. It just seems too hard to make to win this game. Okay, let's play six four Crawford. This is not a... So Peko does not need a gamut. He's going to play to win this game and make it DMP. Five, five. It's a double game. Oh. And Avi in the similarly does not care about getting gammoned either. So usually the play here is make a two point, but maybe here is just running better because it wins more games. I'm not I'm not sure. He makes a standard two point play, I don't hate it. And he's gonna roll four two. That brings two down. You don't need to step up. Avi wants to hit that outside guy. He rolls four two and makes a four point of his own. Petko wants to not roll that. That's kind of weird. And I suppose he just has to run with the lack of anything better to do, really. Abby's gonna hit and not let him make anything inside and then probably just step up. It appears to have the best futures for me. Letting him roll could be bad, yeah? Yeah, I think so. That's why I think you ought to hit. He plays the two to put the pressure on here, and there we go. I like this play. It. Good play. He's going to roll one, two, and make a nine. It's a great roll. Okay, three, six is nice. Six to come out. Avi or Pekka wants a six of his own. He does not get it. 5-3 just has to slot, unfortunately. That's not really a good roll at all. Better slotting or playing two down. You're not breaking your nine point degrees of slots, and I think this has a better future. What's the other option? He can bring two down. 4-1 uh, uh, makes an... Oh, wow. You can come out too, which is interesting, but I don't think coming out is a good ace after, so I guess you just have to stay. So what's the option? We're either playing you can make an to eight. make the eight point. You can come out. Or we go to the thirteen. Or you can here. go to thirteen. Yikes. This play makes sense, to be honest. Six five. Six five just has to leave a five. No choice. Okay, he wants a five. He does not oh, get it. Three six. Three six. Now he has a semi back game, kind of. Oh, well, he's got a. He's got a. <laughs> He's got a he's got a not, not good back game. Four three breaks a nine to make a five. You don't play anything like making a two point. Game. Five four brings two down. And you're gonna break your mid well before you break the eighteen. You throw level five. And we've got ourselves a simple holding game. Orange is just going to try to build their board, and blue is just going to try to roll doubles to bring everything yeah, home. Seems right to me. 5-2 probably slots twice, and I'm going to get a shot here anyway. Double slot is my play. 
could also play two down, but then you'd lose a six. Oh, wow, look at that double six from Joe. You'd lose a six this way, though. A six would be like a, a murderous number. So I think maybe it would have been better to hold off for a second doing this, just to see if the guy rolls a six. Five three, you can play to the ace or to five. I would go to the one. I agree, it saves a six, and just in case. Save a six, just in case anything bad happens. Six one can come there and make a bar point. Bar point has better than the eight because the two point is made. We know this. It's better for containment if he gets a shot later. Four two unstacks to six point. Still keeps that builder on the eight. But it would be interesting if he rolled like a 5-3 if he should have paid now, and I think he probably should have. 5-3 now is harder, and I, th I think it's wrong now. 6-2 is going to stay and just play there and play 6-4 maybe, or 4-2, that seems okay as well. 5-3, just builds the board. Alright, he's ready. This is where they normally roll like double fours or something. 5-2 five, five, two is volunteers. not good. He has to leave a shot anyway, so you might as well just clear a mid. Do the hardest thing, right? And four is even duplicated, which Cross is a little, little bit of a bonus. Four hits, six two as well. Four is not there. Five five misses. So, so. It's lack of anything of any options, you maybe want to. S how about staying on the eighteen point for with a, just a one guy? I probably wouldn't, but I can see the upside to it in some variations. You see it, huh? I think I would, just because of the score. You don't care about losing a gammon, right? Just in case the guy rolls four four or something, you know. That'd be funny. Yeah. Three, I think two, sometimes it's it's good just to look for the funniest option because then you find like these weird sequences where if they do it, you're gonna be really happy you made your play. Okay, six five, six one. Double six. Double six. Five one is okay. Just does this. This is good. It's awkward looking. He wants now, to roll even, something yeah, small. He wants to roll really small. Two, one, little guys. Oh, double six. Ay, ay, ay. That's brutal. One, two. So you can actually stay because you're never going to win a race by running out all the way, right? And you still gain on six, five, and five, four, and six, one. Six, one. You don't gain on five, one. Five, one does not gain. But five four, one's, one's good funny. Five, one's a good rolling. What do you play for one? Are you just hitting? I guess not. Too far ahead. And I mean, there's really not many gammons here. You don't care about losing, losing a gammon. Exactly. So that's you don't care about losing a gammon. Just make a play point. to win the game, which means staying because there. Because there aren't any, and it doesn't really matter if you lose one. And it's not like you can lose a gammon you're... anyway. But play's probably right even at a normal score. You just stay there with one. You win so much more. You don't get to stick around much longer, but you don't really need to. It's you don't need to, because the next roll is a uh, crucial roll, right? Important. <laughs> but if he rolls 5-1, and then, like, uh, you know how some of the websites make you roll anyway, even though you're on the roof? And then you roll, like, double fives, you're going to hate your life. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, I got you, I got you. Slot? Well, okay, you left. I was gonna say. Uh, so he did decide to go. I guess it's not completely losing race. He can not still roll another that. He's doing good in the race. After that 2-1. He rolls another one. He's gonna chuck the cup oh, across wow. the room. Oh my goodness. Somebody watch out in the rafters over there. He's gonna be throwing the cup across the room. Yeah, like a 30-point race lead. 5-1 Five Five helps. One, okay. Now, what is it now? He's, I think Petko is probably still ahead. Uh, that that helps. Sure? Oh well, yeah, okay. After that, before that, he wasn't. Well, I mean, ahead in the in the match winning chance or game winning chances. Not the raw pip count. I don't know. Now he's definitely ahead, though. Certainly after double fours, three one, just to balance his range a little bit, you know. Don't want to scare the guy too much rolling double fours. Three two. I'm not gonna scare anybody with numbers like that. Six three. And what does he want? Sixes, obviously. <laughs> I have two. No, I think he'll take fives there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, fives are okay. And nickels? Sixes are better. Quarters? 
three off and then to the one point. Yeah, one point because it's better for the future. Just in case you roll a couple aces. Sixes. No, that's not it. Does he need doubles to win? If he does, he needs to start thinking about tactics in nice order roll. to get that done. Oh, re-roll. He needs a set. That's not going to cut it. He needs a good set. Yeah. 5-4, okay. There's a chance still. He needs to start with fives or sixes, though. 6-2 six, is okay. 6-2 keeps him Double in the five game. or double sixes to win. If he doesn't roll doubles, he has 5.5% to win this game right now. Oh, nice one. I don't know that number. Ooh! Ooh. Ryan, 5-5, five, five, yeah? No, I saw that. No, it's 5-4 five, five this time? Okay, you see it? <laughs> <sighs> All right, DMP. Interesting. What happened? It's my friends from back home. Free one's a free drop, and you get to take full advantage of your free drop. Yeah, so it's a free drop score, meaning that, like, as long as one side is ahead by even, like, 1% in these games, you just double and pass. You're not really losing anything. If you just pass, it's going to be 50-50. But if you take, and you're, like, you know, 51-49, like, as a dog. Oh, he takes game, it. And this is not Takes good. it as a dog. This is not a take. Even though he has a five point and an opponent has a five point, the opponent is on roll. Therefore, he's a favorite. Therefore, you should pass and start the next game at 50-50. And now he's really hitting life. Than where you're at currently. Don't normally see those every day. No. You'd like to counter by making the bars well. He gets to make four the points four, a which is okay, but it's not as good as the seven in this position. Nice roll. The 6-3 hits. And Abby's going to hate himself. I doubt it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> One three hits back, you see? <laughs> then he fans, followed by double twos, and everything is fine. Two one, except up to the edge. Two one. No, no you don't need no You do not need an anchor here. What for? This is not a you're not getting blitz, you don't care about losing a gamma. There's, 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 no, there's absolutely no reason. It doesn't to matter do that. anything. So, so you, two, you, you have slot. to Yeah, same that's what I was about to it's say. It's the only play. If you want to win the game at least. You assume he misses, right? I but he, there's no upside here. He's giving a it's shot a anyway. You know what I mean? So why not just slot the best point? That way you can contain when things go well. Uh-uh. Yikes. Two, two four, four from okay. the bar. It's almost a Fogerlin, but not it's quite. It's like a Joker entering there. Yeah, it is a good, it's a good roll. Hit your opponent with the dice. That's always a good option. <laughs> Just catch. Oh, that's not that's not good. Four three is terrible. We have to pick it up. You can't hang out. Is that? Yeah. I mean, there's there's the other option of seven three thirteen. <laughs> the other 10. option is two down and just hope he doesn't roll it. No, you can't do that. So six four, you got to run. The question is how. I like twenty four to fourteen because it duplicates twos all over the place. Plus, you don't want to be stuck in a yeah, and you, and you don't want to be stuck game in a anyway. Four point game. You don't care about losing Gammon, so you're not really scared of breaking the 24 so Whatever points. play wins the most, you just do that one. In this play, if, if you see he runs out 24-14, he doesn't roll a 2. I mean, look at all the duplication. There's 2s of him on the, on the on the 23 point. There's a 5-2 that hits the outside. There's a 6-2 that can make the... Yeah, this, this, this is just a passive play that we don't like. If the guy makes the bar now, you're just kind of dead as well, whereas the other one, you still had chances to make the more advanced 23 points. Like oh, wow. Okay, I take back everything I said. He would have got absolutely destroyed. Actually, no, he wouldn't have. No, I mean, this, no, this is this is terrible for him anyway. Yeah, it is. What is that? Five, what? Five, two. You have five to slot two, the you bar. Have to slot. You this gotta slot the bar again. Prime. You have to take chances. I have a whole video on these sorts of positions on my YouTube channel, yeah, by the way. I've seen them. One of the better ones. It's a good one. It is a good one. Five three is a runner. You gotta come out. Can't stay primed. Your opponent's primed. 
I think. You can you can bring two down, but that's just a little bit too passive for the me. The thing is, if you, you do that, you're, you're, you. you're hoping to roll a five then next roll, and you have one this roll. You could see you can get blitzed out, and the opponent rolls a couple sets of one sixes in a row, but that's so unlikely. It's just worth it to step out, in my opinion. Pekko agrees. Yeah, Pekko's strong. Now he's going to hit with everything he's got. 4-2 is interesting. I guess he just... Wow. 6-6 six, six is no good. Well... Well, if it's, fans, it's good It's good if he fans and then it rolls 1-6. 6 and... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Yeah, <laughs> You need a miracle, for sure. For sure, it's terrible, actually. Okay, wow. yeah, you're dead. Dead and a half. Dead. So you can slot the back, so you just maximize your builders for the 8 point. So what does he need to have a chance? Like 2-1? He needs 2-2. Two, 2-1, two. Two, one, double just, ones? Just play him with those decks. Get, get somebody who knows the game who come in. You know, you know this guy? Of course. He'll He's the... 2004 World Champion finalist. Lost on GMT to great Matt Sam. He's uh, also the father of uh, the other guy over yes, here, yeah? Aviva, Aviva. Aviva. yeah. Aviva. 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 You're, Aviva. you're Aviva, Dad? Well, of course, everybody knows you. You're famous. <laughs> everybody knows you. 2-3. There's no reason to slot the back at the prime. Sometimes it's right to do that, but not here, because you're winning anyway. There's no reason to give a Fogerlind off the roof. Fogerlind, the 6-2. He calls the number and then it happens, but he never calls it in a good situation. He always calls it where if he rolls it, he loses. What a schmuck. So, no, no, but like, <laughs> I just I just hate the idea of calling my bad numbers or just thinking about them in general. My wife, the one thing she taught me about backgammon was like, why would you waste your time thinking about your bad numbers? If you roll them, you'll feel unlucky. And that I can't see. be bad for like your mental state, you know? So now I only think about my good numbers. So when I roll them, I feel lucky. I don't know why I made that 3-1 and one instead of playing 7-3. It seems to me you have more builders for it at 2-point. The other way. So 5-2 makes it naturally. That's why. Now I feel that's like why. an idiot. That's why. Now I feel like a pro <laughs> right proper doofus. <laughs> I think because maybe with your 5s, you just slot if it gets too... I guess so, yeah. If it gets too um, push forward, you know? 1-6... This, 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 this is fine. We don't double five. So let's leave a shot this way. So maybe that, maybe just because of that six, uh, six to five was better there. I'm not entirely sure. No, because then you leave a shot with six four as that's, well. That's that's facts. So in that case, this play is things fine. Okay, five one. This is that? And Avi needs a miracle. He does. Four two just takes off. But I believe. But I've seen miracles. Like this. Five five doesn't move. Not as good as a six, but better than moving on the other side of the board for Three, sure. Three two clears a six point. Yeah, yeah. Nice roll. Definitely, he doesn't need any gammons. Yeah. So what he's doing here is you can see he's trying to hold his five prime as long as possible so Avi can crunch. The problem is he just sets himself up for future shots more. And now you have to clear, and it's uglier position, right? Gets a five four. I mean, if he gets a shot, he could win, maybe, depending on how many guys he has off. 4-3 four, three four, three is okay. Awkward, though. Yeah, it's better than 6-5. Certainly. No ace. 5-1 cleans up very nicely. Don't roll a 3 next roll, though. Have to come off and cover. Just in case. Maybe not even cover. No. Silly. You want to use the ace to cover, not the No, not the you, you get a shot. You want to be able to hit and all then right, not die. All right, all right, all right. I'm trying to die out here in these streets? Get it. Ace from space? Ace. Not there. Good uh, game. That was the last match of the group stage for this UBC USA. That's right. They're going to continue rolling out the matches, and we will update you on what the status looks like for the final four players. Uh... And now the real competition starts. Wow, this is just the warm-up. This is the warm-up, baby. Warm-up. This is just a warm-up. All right. Well, you're warmed up. You're probably number one in the overall standings, right? Maybe. Probably. I say so. Potentially. Depending on the PR of me and Dana's match. Yeah. Which you don't have yet, right? No. You probably go do that now, yeah? I don't want to. I don't want to do it myself. Well, all right, then. What's some other schmuck do? Was it a long match? Yeah. Okay, then forget that. It's probably already done. Yeah, I guess so.
We'll be back with the next match uh, when it happens. I'm not sure. I'm going to go find out right now. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you haven't yet, please smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. We have five concurrent streams going on, actually. Uh, some of them aren't playing now as we're winding down the UBC competition for right now. I think in a little bit we are going to be starting one of the... I think the Masters Jackpot or the Longhorn Masters event. Either that or the Super Jackpot for 1500 at... Supposed to be starting at 3, so it should be starting fairly shortly. And then after that, they're going to finish rolling out these things, and then we'll find out who advances to the next rounds, and we'll update you then. Please subscribe to the channel. The other streams are on the AP Live. AP for Ace Point, uh, Ace Point Live Backgammon channel. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.